Welcome to Profiles in Eccentricity, a show about weirdos, with your hosts, John Fahey, Aaron Peter, and Matt Brutzone. Hello folks, welcome to Profiles in Eccentricity, it's a show about weirdos, doggone it. My name is John Boy. It is John Boy time. My name is John Fahey. I will be your host, and you will be my parasites. <laughs> oh. Join me as ever. <laughs> Pretty as falling under the sun. Skeet Lover's Pizza. Aaron Joseph Pita. Mm-mm. Well, if it isn't the Keister Bunny himself. You said it, neighbor. Up there hiding Easter eggs up his little bung holes, the rabbit hole. How deep does the rabbit hole go? At least a fist. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you take the little pill? Both of them. Take, take fucking both of them and find out. Yeah. I'm like a cocktail. Oh, blue yeah. your red pill. Yeah, purple pill? Yeah. The pur- pur- red your blue pill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lot of purple. <laughs> you, gotta t- you, gotta g- <laughs> you gotta give your blue pill the red pill. So yeah. you, you, you take this that woke Viagra. Yeah. Yeah. It's that waking matrix. Uh huh. Now to uh, my right, my left, uh, is the gall with it all. Mm hmm. <laughs> Even though it's 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 not it's gall is France, not Canada. Yeah, that's right. But we keep we keep that going for some reason. Well, you know, somewhere back there, there's some French action, some hot, oh, yeah. hot oh, gall ab- action. Absolutely, yeah. Gall Han- on hey, gall action. <laughs> mm-hmm. Handsome Matt Brousseau, the Frenchman henchman. Hi. Oh, Hello. God, so cool. Hi. Hello. Really pretty cool. Really cool, man. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Pretty cool man, stuff. Man, you really yeah. amuse my bouche, dude. Uh-huh, nice. You really amuse really, my bouche. Really fill it that up. last Patreon was really fun. It was a good mm-hmm. time. Talked about uh, uh, the, the, the Sibian, right? Mm-hmm. Wasn't that it? Yeah, yeah. I went to uh, the created the Sibian. The minute created the Sibian who perished. In a Sibian related accident, great, of course. Great <laughs> listener suggestion. Didn't he ride it off a cliff? <laughs> he, he almost made it across the border. <laughs> it was the Segway, mm-hmm. the Segway Sibian. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> had got a, wheels. Uh, a friend of mine, a listener of the show, uh, who will remain nameless until I get permission, says, uh, I need to buy a knockoff Sibian on Amazon. Yeah. Brilliant. I ordered, <laughs> uh, that was yesterday, 4 11 p.m. Today, 7.22 a.m. When's Prime Day? <laughs> I ordered one. When's Pride Prime Day? <laughs> I ordered one. I'm so excited to begin this new journey. <laughs> I might fuck around and fall in love with Machine Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I like, amazing. Send us a pick and a review. Yeah. Was that song, was it Machine Head by Got Rush? Got a machine not Rush. Yeah. Yeah. It's Bush. Bush, not Rush. Bush. Well, yeah. it's better than yeah. the rest. Well, it is the summer of the rise of Machine Dick. Mm. You know? What happens when it rises? Oh, God. Okay, it's going to shoot. We are dead. No, <laughs> we are all dead. From orgasm. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, you can also rent a Sibian. Yeah. You, yeah. you, can, get, you can buy one of the various knockoffs. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's fun for the whole family. Get it, you know, instead of who, a clown who, who, for the who, party. Yeah. Who delivers it and picks it up? Uh, really nice folks. Uber? No. Yeah. No. Some Uber driver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, ma'am, I have your magnetic saddle. <laughs> Bust mates. Could be like Grubhub, I guess. Yeah. Close to sounding. Shit. Chow now. Time. How much is it? What's the rent rates? You looked it up. Uh, I, I'm not going to disclose that. Not on the air. <laughs> we're, we're, we're negotiating a, a sponsor, a, a, a promo code, so I'm not going to give any rates out. Um, If you're, you know, a fucking nerd and you can't hang and you're not cool, um... And Matt will, uh, you know, obviously put the timestamp when the actual profile starts. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, but in the meantime, I do have to say about uh, the Patreon, where we do do an extra episode per week uh, for a, a measly five dollars a month, supporting five the fucking show. bucks, supporting the show. Um, five bucks. We did have we had that really fun episode last time. Mm-hmm. We did. Um, but on there, we did get the message from our friend Chad. Yes. Uh, which really was, uh, I haven't brought it up on the Patreon because I wanted to set, set, save it for a public episode. Oh, um, yes, yes. Because we all read this and we're like, hey, did you see that message from Chad? <laughs> yes. And not the country. <laughs> it's very good, Aaron. Uh, but this is his message uh, that he posted to one of the things we, we uh, one of the episodes we put up on Patreon. And he said, I will try to make this as brief as possible. My job has me driving a minimum of four hours a day, and I listen to about four other podcasts on Pandora for free. I was missing something in my life, and it was piss. 
You guys are the first people who seem to process the shit show we all live in in the same way I do. I search for recommendations for new podcasts using Reddit, and they direct me towards profiles. After three months, I had to give you my money and quench my desire for more piss. <laughs> Thank you for all you do and giving me hope that there are still some people with half a brain. Now for the business part. I mean, that was pleasure for me. That so, was real yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, I've incorporated some of your impersonations into my daily life, and my 10-year-old daughter thinks Gator Talk is hilarious. <laughs> we also love Herzog Talk, <laughs> snobby English aristocrat, as well as Southern Gentleman Talk. <laughs> I isolate the sound bites that are safe for her to hear and play them for her, which makes me dad of the year. If you ever feel like making a future fan smile, hearing her name done in Gator Talk would do the trick. Um... She's very interested in comic books, but I don't know which one to start her out on and figured the Piss Gang could assist. She's interested in darker comics since they are more like real life in her words. Please steer me in the right direction as I value your opinions. Um, you guys rock, and I'm doing my best to spread the word. And then uh, what was the young lady's name? All right, well, we should do that on a, we'll do like a little message. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I mean, you don't want to get into it now, or? I mean... Does he want us to say their name over air? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Was, yeah. he's, he's, he's specifically stated it. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Her name was Lillian. Oh. Now, Lillian. Now, see, you and I are from different parts of the South. <laughs> wow, little Lillian. Yeah, you, you, you're a Lilliputian. She uh, only a decade. <laughs> yeah, well, she... But, <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about where you... Ten people, years, only get a good swamp stew going. <laughs> <laughs> you barely get in the bra. <laughs> now, I see... Now, 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 now y'all know... <laughs> the, the, uh, the the question the query that has been posed from a young Lillian. Now please if you could please keep it together you uh, you swamp swine uh subhuman trash <laughs> cannibalistic brain eating pig. And now the young lady posed a query. What would be some comic books, graphic novels that would be appropriate for this uh uh preternaturally curious young Lady. Swamp thing. <laughs> now, it's about a gator. <laughs> well, it's about a, well, he's more of an elemental man who has uh, been, tri who, who is somehow delusional into believing that he is a man when really he is uh, really just more of an avatar for a recently deceased scientist, botanist, uh, and, and really calls into question the very nature of identity, but also while criticizing our treatment of Mother Nature. So it sounds like it'd be a good one then. So you like it probably because it's green and gross. I like all the but gumbo. The goo <laughs> you, I like all that good gumbo. You like all the, the goos and logs and I like whatnot. He, he fell in. He get up. You lay down with the gator. You get up a swamp thing. Right. Now, you, now, go, you goose the log. The log gooses you back. Well, you bring up some very Nietzschean ideas. And for that, I, I commend you. Uh, despite your primitive upbringing and obvious malnutrition as a youngster. <laughs> I'm depleted. <laughs> that, yeah, some... Uh, <laughs> I really do think that the uh, Alan Moore run of Swamp Thing, uh, with some go. proper parental guidance, uh, would be an appropriate place to start. Uh, you do think it would be appropriate? Because when I first said it to you, you, right. you were like... I was like, mm, meh. Uh, but I, I, there... What about the whole... I think if your dad's there with you, yeah. kind of talking about it... Yeah. Uh, the thing is, is that, like, like, no joke, Chad, like, it gets fucking freaky scary mm. it gets into weird demonic stuff it's very well it is Alan Moore we're talking about the comic or the show we're talking about the comic and uh, the show I suppose yeah yeah I mean the, the show didn't get to do everything it wanted to but it's also so much about of course human corruption and things yeah. like that and and there's some cameos from the Justice League in sure. uh, Alan Moore's Swamp Thing yeah yeah uh, um, but I do think and John Constantine yes I, I just think it's pretty good uh, if she's saying she likes the dark stuff. Uh, the realism. Uh, I think it's. Uh, it, it, it. I mean, it's it's fantasy, but it is handled in in kind of a, a, a mature way. Oh, it's, it's uh, Alan Moore. Yeah, and and it's just also like and it's deep, <laughs> deep and beautiful. Uh, uh, you know, you can kind of just go back to it again and again. He's it's, a it's, tragic character, and um, for Alan Moore, it's him at the height of. Well, this is. I mean, that was the guy that there's. That was one of the first main runs of any mainstream thing he did. They just threw a shitty, n not like, you know, B, C level character at him and he reinvented it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think that I did some thinking about it. And I think if you, if dad's there helping you, re like, just kind of process it, because it's not like reading Peanuts, you know? No, no, certainly not. And also, like, it's just a good thing to probably re read it with your 
daughter no matter what you're doing because then you guys have that. Uh, uh, but I mean, also that's really cool that you share the show with her. That really kind of made yeah, me, that's made really. Me you, like, I mean, oh you probably have to do a lot of editing. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, I started rereading um, Old Man Logan. Yeah. And that one's pretty fucking good too. Yeah, especially because it's standalone. But it, it's a standalone. But if, it goes, if you it, know who Wolverine is, and yeah. you know, if you just have an idea of that universe, and now mm-hmm. he's an old dude, and there's this mystery behind why he yeah. isn't the way he used to be, and the art is incredible. Yeah, uh, I would do. Dude, that was 2003. Yeah, yeah. And then they brought, a, then they brought, then they brought it back for the run up to Secret Wars. There's also a thing too, uh, where I would say if she's like not already into that stuff at all or like unaware of it, there's something good about a story like that where uh, everybody's basically dead, mm-hmm. but everybody's talking about how cool they were. Mm-hmm. That makes you want to go find out yeah, what's so cool. Right. right. Uh, so it kind of piques interest that way. Yeah, um, it's like your 40 year high school reunion. Do you, uh, what do you Matt, Anything you pop pop? No, I just thought of to ask a, a family member of mine who teaches uh, comic books. Oh, really? I'm kind of an expert on this. So oh. I, I've, I've asked them now. It's okay. so great that... Well, I'm um, teasing it now. Stay it, tuned. Yeah. It's so great that we've never met this person. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's on you. Is it? No. Man, they he's really they putting don't. me on a hero of the journey, isn't <laughs> yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. He's really saying you must cross the threshold yourself. Yeah. Man, you're like a real custom auto, man. He's saying that... Except uh, you're French. <laughs> He's Canadian. Ba- he's basically saying that, uh, you know, this is like his pool friend. We're, we're the swamp boy. Yeah. But, yeah. Swamp is good yeah. for you. <laughs> Best. <laughs> um, what else was I thinking about as a good comic for her? Um, I mean, dark is, is relative, right? Like dark for a 10 year old is different than dark for a, you know, 24 year old boy. Well, well it's, it's just, you know, it's part of the equation. I, I, think, sure. I think a part of, 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 of uh, why kids like that stuff, too, is like, um, you know, I don't need to be taking on like a, like a handholdy journey. It's like, let's just get to the point. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, but there is something like, you know, I mean, I would say Kirkman fucking Invincible and, and Walking Dead, too, like are, mm. you know. Shit, I would just say watch Invincible. Yeah. Just cut to the chase. Get to it and watch it together because it's such a ugh, gut punch like family thing. Yeah, but that's also been going on for years and years too. Oh yeah, yeah, and they've built the whole world out. In fact, In- Invincible was I think, a, a spinoff of something else. Oh really? Uh, I I'm, I'm huh. could be wrong. Invincible, and then. <laughs> it's Vince Able. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's Vince Disabled after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But then oh, that's God. part of the journey. That's part yeah. of the journey. Uh, <laughs> and he comes on the other side infants. Uh he goes on the other side and capable. Yeah, we, we don't we didn't we didn't really ask if if uh you know they had any if they're more versed in like DC or Marvel and everything like that. Well, but, I mean, with graphic novels too. I mean, I haven't read it, but Black Hole. Here we go. Is that too? Black Hole is. Uh, is uh, that too? Is it, that's, is that, that's more. I mean, I'd say she's getting like teen years. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot about high school sexuality. And, right. Uh, but it's it's good in the way that like it, it you know kind of makes fun of uh, high school kids thinking everything is the end of the world. Yeah. Because they haven't lived. Well, we're prepping her up. We're prepping. Uh, and uh, on the DC side, obviously, we would say Red Sun. If you want to, uh, Red Sun is not even dark. I would, I, I would say it's it. It goes a little dark. Th- I would say that's ten year old dark. Yeah, and I would recommend that. Hand that is what I give to people as an intro to comics. But it's like you know you want to have the background on the Soviets. You want to have some. It helps. Yeah. It helps you if you have background yeah. politically and background on DC comics. Yeah. But even just a, cur- even a cursory that- knowledge of, oh, yeah, Kennedy was assassinated, and Superman is this guy, and what, like, if you like know... Jet Field doesn't have still beams. That's right, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Olsen's his friend. Right. Like, if you know like the, the cursory, uh, if just the easy information about the Superman, DC, Batman mythos, yeah. then Red Sun is a great <clears throat> little what if. Yeah. Um, that is just so... What else do we argue self-contained about? Self-contained and... Did we argue about? We actually argued about what would be appropriate for a ten year old. I don't know if it was an argument. No, no, that no, no. It sounds no, no. like it could have been a discussion. Oh, we did. We said killing joke. 
No, definitely not. The, well, it, no, be, because of the implication. No, okay, but like, why? It's how it ten, how it ends. Ten, what ten, is, through. ten is a bit much uh, for a ten-year-old. Sure, I think it's a bit much. I mean, it, it took us till I don't know a few months ago for you and I to really get it. No, but we knew we knew we knew the oh, we sh- knew it. We knew the shocking but, but content. But after we talked about it, we were having a night. Where we were like just talking about it getting fucked up. And then we just like, we're like, well, uh, well we just, uh, we extracted more meaning. Right. So, you know. Yeah. But it's, that's the thing too, is that like, if you can go back to something at multiple ages and get more out of it. It's, well, yes, that's, I read, I read it very young, but yeah, I, I also yeah, like, I, I read, guy. I read, I was reading like, uh, you know, those child's play adaptations when I was like eight. Yeah. That, and like, and look I, at you now, you're all fucked up. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just saying, you know, there's, there's frivolous uh, shocking stuff and there's stuff that's like it really goes somewhere and has a point yeah uh, and I would say yeah that killing joke really does um, but yeah like I would say you know what get all of those and you decide what is appropriate and um, you know Lillian and Chad we love you uh, we I, do love you I have two recommendations from uh, someone who is hired to oh you did the, you did the phone a friend yeah mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. phone a family he, he fucking pulled the audience uh, there, there are two recommendations that are not comic books. One, uh, 50 graphic novels. One is Tilly Walden's On a Sunbeam. Can you spell that? On a Sunbeam? Yes. Got it. Not like On a Sunbeam. No. I don't know if it's like a Jamanga or something like that. It's yeah. a Jamiroquai, yeah. Get carried away. I'm not getting carried away. And the second one was Emily Carroll's Through the Woods, though, uh, Chad, you should, uh, you should vet that one first just in case. Okay. So these are true li- graphic novels. Might be a little too mature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But these are things that uh, when you take a class on graphic novels in college mm-hmm. may come across. That's fucking interesting, man. Uh, yeah. And what else you got? Um, I, what was that one they made into the movie that I was talking about? That what? The one they made into the movie. Uh, uh, well, I know they did Lie the, Why the Last Man as mm-hmm. a TV. That, that one, uh, Why the Last Man is pretty cool. Um, uh, also, Junji Ito's comics are super scary and could be age appropriate. I don't know if you guys know Junji Ito. No, Mm-mm. I don't. They're super scary. Really? Yeah. It's creepy. me. Cool. Creepy Carly. You'd like him. I love, I love when comic what's books are another, scary. It's very hard to get one. scared by a comic um, book. When it happens, it's very good. No, we should just uh, we should just make a we'll, we'll chat on the Patreon. Let's just uh, let's send yeah, we'll take it up list. there. But we, you know, we want to we'll see. make a we'll, we'll vet and we'll make a, a list and and everybody else can look at it too. If you're all fucking ten. <laughs> Or not. I mean, I mean you know, it could be eleven. These are things that 11, we still read eleven through and reread over yeah, and over all the again. time. I'm yeah. rereading Old Man Logan right now. So there you go. Uh, let's take a hot break and then we'll come right back. And we're back. Cool. Well, Aaron, um, you asked me to uh, elaborate. What? On some shit, I did. On some hitherto before shit. Uh, that is that is that is beknownst to me. That is that is beknownst. To and I uh, I asked you I asked you asked me to elaborate. So I think I was. I la- love elaboration. I wanted to. I request elaboration. Is uh, <laughs> I require <laughs> quote the vision. Uh, <laughs> Never more. Uh, uh, I uh, I went to, uh, back down uh, the old rabbit hole of uh, the old Nazi Titanic. Yes. Because you asked me to. And yes, that's perfect. It's really, uh, it's really, really, really fascinating. Do you remember this, Matt? I remember the name. I don't remember the context. 1943, the, uh, the, the you know, the propaganda ministry... Uh, says we have a boat that can't sink. <laughs> no, no, they, they, they put they, this is thirty years after or twenty eight uh, years after the Titanic. Yeah, and um, they, the thing that's like weird about this movie is I think it's the first one that was made just called Titanic. Mm-hmm. The one they made. The one that they made. Yeah, the uh, nineteen forty three Nazi right. Party Ministry of Propaganda made run a, by made a, Joseph Goebbels. Right, Joseph, right, Joseph Goebbels. Yes. and, and Joseph Goebbels. Keep in mind, very hands-on. Um, Some would say a little handsy. Uh, if you were a boy. Uh, I don't know. He had a lot of children. 
and he killed he, them he all. He killed them all. Dude, yeah. And his wife, yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. And himself. And so, so, you know, you've yeah. got to admire the... But, but here, here's the thing. <laughs> here, here's the thing that, that's odd to me is, um, you know, I I think, you know, the, the, the Nazi stuff is like, uh, you take... A lot of uh, take one lump of flour. You, you take a lot of lessons from it. Uh, if you're any kind of uh, imperial power, um, hopefully. Well, no, I mean not really. Hopefully, <laughs> but but <laughs> well, it, it for your for your sake. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selfishly, yes. Right. It, it, you uh, know, if you're Stalin, you and you're trying to do what you're trying to do, you would have taken some notes. Mm -hmm. um, didn't. So uh, the funny the funny God. thing about the propaganda that goes on is. Um, like all of, uh, all of like the the lessons, the morals, uh, really just kind of, they did two fucking movies. That so were so you gotta. I mean, I know that I requested elaboration, but mm -hmm. for those who uh, are just a throughout, yeah, throughout the war, the Ministry of Propaganda, headed by jo Joseph Goebbels, was producing films mm -hmm. and also you know banning art or banning books. Or whatever, and it's banning really entire races of people, <sighs> right? But that, yeah, <laughs> not in the Ministry of Propaganda. propaganda. Yes, uh, but you know, art is obviously a nuanced thing, mm -hmm. and so there would be some of these people that were kind of like riding the line, right? And it was like one of these things of like, okay, and the Titanic sunk in nineteen twelve. Yes, and there was actually a silent uh, German film. Very shortly after, uh, called In Night and Ice. Mm. And I believe in America they made a movie featuring some of the people who were on the Titanic. Huh. About the Titanic. Well, I request elaboration at another date. Like, uh, in, in... like a reenactment with yeah. them? Yeah. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Um, it was a silent movie because yeah. you, you didn't want to hear them screaming. No, but, uh, no, shrill just, voices. Yeah, they, they well, because they only the... let off women and children and uh, they... So you're saying screams. Uh, um, after, oh, Saved from the Titanic, 1912. Yeah. So that, it didn't like, take long. It's almost like they were on their way here. Yeah, there, And that means they were crisis actors. There's a few things like that. I think we maybe touched on this show where they had people who were survivors of some crazy event play themselves in a movie reenacting well, the there thing? Well, there was just a, there was a documentary that came out a few years ago about... Um, uh, killings in is it East Timor? It's East Timor. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah that's uh, and you had the killers reenacting. Yes. Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. But that is that is that was that Herzog? No, that's the act of killing. The act of killing. That's yeah. But that's not the one I'm talking about. But there was something so recently. God, I, I'll I'll figure it out. Uh, Co-written co by and starring Titanic survivor Dorothy Gibson and released only 29 days after the sinking. Now a lost film filing, following a studio fire in which the last known prints were destroyed. <laughs> only, Titanic, oh, Titanic sinks twice. Only, it's only, fire. only a few production stills remain. Well, the thing was too is that you know the uh, Titanic goes up in flames. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Twenty nine days after sinking, the uh, I think I think they call it a uh, answer print. Uh, the first one that's completely done. Uh, you know, uh, they've kind of like added some color, uh, music, all that stuff. The first answer print of the Nazi Titanic film. Uh, Destroyed in bombings. Answer. Yeah. Not I don't know. master. I believe it's called, yeah, an answer print. Huh. Uh, it's like Jeopardy. 1912, a French uh, production called uh, The Obsession. Same year. Uh, yeah, 1929 mm. is the first German one that's silent uh, in Night and Ice. Also called the Sinking of Titanic. That's a way better name. Produced than either of in Night and Ice is terrifying. Mm -hmm. It's a great name. Um, really paints a picture. And that was believed to be lost, uh, rediscovered 1998 by James Cameron at the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. <laughs> oh, look at this trench. Mm -hmm. It's a movie. Uh, but and just, just so funny that like they already had one. Uh, I mean, it was a fucking. I don't nine eleven. It was a nine eleven style thing. Yeah, it was the biggest story. Here's this the monument to. Grandeur. What was the and progress and prog and 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 it's untouchable. The Onion headline: World's largest metaphor sinks. Yeah, you could have said that for the World Trade Center too. Sure, right. There's, I mean, it's the Death Star. Yeah, 
So it was, um, yeah, it was I'm not sympathizing, but I, it, you well, know, I, to I, them. I understand the poetic beauty. Well, it's part of this whole thing. Sorry for anybody that lost their lives or whatever. Yeah, sounds sincere. Yeah, I nailed it. Uh, yeah, real good. <laughs> art's art, bro. <laughs> art's art. Art's art. Uh, but I, do, I think the reason it uh, <laughs> it resonates is uh, there's this, you know, there's this thing in all of us where it's like, oh, we need to go back to the woods. You know, like, we if, if anything seems like too much of a sing, symbol of progress, mm-hmm. we're like, oh, we're going to pay for that, you know? That's why there's... Mm-hmm. The, well, it, the like, Tower of Babel, right? Like, you, you tempt, talk, t- t- tempting God. You talked about all the... Destroying New York. Destroying New York stuff. Yes. Uh, and it is a thing where, you know, and, and that's been a, that's been like a thing forever where somebody's like, oh, the opulence and the... Right, ro- well, you know. yes. I mean, it, a lot of it, it is... It's, it's, Rome, not, you know? it's not always opulence, you know, in a lot of the Destroying New York episode, it's... Moral decay it's, or... You know, moral decla- decay or integration yeah. or... And then a little bit of climate change stuff. I mean, you know... It, it's also... it's also New York is the city. Yeah. And it's representative of civilization. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's not, you know... Nobody gives a shit if you make a movie about aliens invading fucking Mumbai unless you're in Mumbai. And that's and that's and that's like the number one movie market in the world. Yeah. It's just not New York is the city. Right. And so it's always going I mean, for now and for you know, hundred years forward or backward, it's going to be emblematic of the end of the world. Oh, right, yeah. Which, you know, it was London before that and Rome before that right. and whatever and ever and ever. A lot of the League of Shadows. But also I think a lot of it is uh, not necessarily hating the city, but seeing the city as... A symbol a, for what we are at this moment. But also it's it's the disintegration of the village. Yes, that's yes, why yes, it's hated. Yes, and that's uh, why that's why it, it is doomed. Yes, right, because it is because these cities allow for so much anonymity. Yes, and um, uh, yeah. vice from yeah. and the, yeah, you know, yeah. if you, you don't know it, anybody, you it's, can. It's, it's not that it's not just that it is being destroyed. It is that it is doomed. It it is bound to be destroyed mm. because of the choices it made. Yes, mm. and which is it's, different it's, than it's, just a random not, act. Right. They the narrative device they use usually is a random act or um an act of a a, a singular actor or something like that. Like right. that. But they're not wrong that it's t- <laughs> I mean they all fall. Oh right. Uh New York is just the one that's kind of perfect too. Yeah, and the, the thing Ooh, is, is that which, which yeah. ironically, New York is like one of the most livable of the most of the metropolises. Oh, right, like L.A. should be the one that they destroy. Well, this it's place so is built like, up. It, it, look, it looks. You can't better. walk anywhere. It looks better destroying New York on screen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that's why Bin Laden picked it. Well, yeah, yeah, and you know, um, you know, anything else that's fucking. If you even believe it was him. <laughs> So yeah. Anyway, these uh-huh. are, these, the, these are the things that you know uh, everybody gets obsessed with. You know, uh, the Hindenburg and stuff like you know. Oh, yeah, we talk. Ta- about- you're, ta- you're it's Icarus and Daedalus. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You're flying too close to the sun. It's the Tower of Babel. It's I mean Troy. Uh, Troy was not that, but okay. I like where your head's at. Uh. But it's, you know, hey, don't get too big for your britches. Uh-huh. And, you know, the Titanic is, this is the unsinkable ship. Yeah. And the, the, here's what's so beautiful about the title is it's the Titanic. Yeah. It's the Titans. The Titans were the pantheon of Greek gods that got destroyed by mm-hmm. the Olympians. Yeah. Like, they, you lost in the name. Right. What was the second ship? It wasn't the Olympus, was it? There was the Britannia, yeah, uh, Lusitania, the Britan- and the Britannia. No, no, Lusitania. Lusitania was later in the, that's World yes. War uh, One, I believe, isn't it? Lusitania. Yeah, yeah and they got hit, but it might have also but been. But it was ship. it was another one that was discovered by Robert Ballard, right? Probably while he was doing covert yeah, CIA yeah, he was work. Looking for yeah, him. He, yeah, he was looking for that film. Yeah, <laughs> Zabr- yeah. Zabruder. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, the sister ships uh, is what you're talking about. Yeah, yes. the sister ships to the Titanic. I the Britannic, like Britannia, Britannia, maybe the Britannic. Uh, and or uh, yeah, or Britannica. It was a whole library. Encyclopedia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is that Olympia? Like something too? Yeah, I would imagine it was. It's that kind of bullshit. Um. Yeah. If only we had tiny computers that we could look it up on. Uh, nah. In our phones. Um. <laughs> you do that. You talk while I do that. I uh. 
I, 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 like, I'm, I, I think it's just the thing that that gets me so bad about this is Joseph Goebbels is the number two guy, at least in closeness with Hitler. Mm -hmm. And obviously, whatever, you know, both artists, sure. Sure. Uh, but he, 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 he bought the bullshit hardest, too. Um, you know, at the very end, I think even Himmler. No wonder it sank. It was built in Belfast. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't let the, the oh, Irish Catholics work in the shipyards, so you can't blame that on me. I'm not blaming it on you. I'm blaming it on the stock. No, I'm not blaming it on anybody. Yeah, what, what's, what's it called again? Olympic ship, ship, uh, White Star. No, the shipyard. Oh, the, yeah. the, 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 the shipyard uh, in, in Belfast. Uh, that was like considered like the height of anti-Irish oppression is that there's not like... I'm not seeing it here, but it, I am. here's what I am saying. Or, or I am seeing... Uh, 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 well, Harlan and Wolf, is that what you're talking about? Harlan and Wolf yeah. and the White Star Line, and uh, there were three vessels, uh, Olympic, Titanic, and Britannic. Okay, so he was doing that. And thing. then later, later there would be Lusitania and Mauritania. It is, yeah, it's the Harlan and Wolf shipyard, yeah. Wow, um, so he had a bunch of ships go down, that, that famously, then. At least two. Yeah, well, you know. Ships go down. Uh, <laughs> so they, they were... Um, Basically, you know, depicted as being in uh, competition with another company called Cunard, I believe. Hmm. And so that was kind of why, you know, and this is what the, the, the Nazi propaganda picks up on. Uh, they were saying like, oh, it was it was the, the boardroom greed of their, you know, rivalry with Cunard uh, to have the fastest ship sail the Atlantic and... Uh, you know the the boardroom members wanted all of, all of their money, and they were all Jews. Uh, well, I I don't even know if they. I, no, I'm not saying they are. I'm saying they probably said it. Right. Well, they probably said they were. <laughs> were you just throwing out guesses? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> well, because any uh, capitalist is Nazi code word for Jews. Yeah, uh, but th this was this was more about really. Uh, and the later films especially got worse about uh, once they really understood that the British would never join them. Mm. It was really anti-British propaganda. Mm. Uh, and they had a fucking, which blew my mind, I didn't know about until I was getting into this, um, two different movies about the Irish resisting uh, Britain. Two different ones. and Pro-Irish pro movies. Well, really just anti-British. Yeah. You know? Sure. Um, but, like, people, you know, people were saying in all of these movies... Um, you know, there, there's stuff where the Nazis kind of give away reasons f for you to be like, oh, well, you guys are more like the British than, fucking, like, we should be resisting you. You guys, right, you right. guys are just like them. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? So, I mean, they, I mean, so they said that was kind of given away in some of the movies. Like, which, 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 which of the two countries had a royal lineage tied to Germany? Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and, but it was that's the thing is, like, you know, all of these movies were just, like, they were so up their own fucking ass <laughs> yeah, about like about like oh man the, man the Brits suck so bad and you're like what the fuck you're the like Nazis yeah you guys, yeah, are, well, you guys I mean, are completely insane you guys are more alike than and, you are and, different and like uh, also just you know this is what gets me about it is you know nineteen let, let's say let's say production starts on this. 41, 42. for the motion picture for the Titanic. motion picture Titanic released nineteen forty three. Um, Goebbels is going like, wow, wow, I want to hit. I want a blockbuster, baby. And you're like, you're at war with the earth. <laughs> <laughs> is this the time? <laughs> well, I mean, that's his, that's his purview. I mean, yeah. that's, uh, that's what he sees. Yes. I guess, yeah, it's a thing where it's like, act like Dis every, distract, uh, distract these people. Yeah. And act like everything's normal. And not only that, but we are the competitor or the inheritor of the new machine that you're used to mm -hmm. of entertainment mm -hmm. and stuff. So like, I wonder what a hit what, constituted for like, what is it? What would a hit be for Goebbels? Like it's sold well in oh, yeah. Germany. Uh, well, and abroad. And, and abroad. And, 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 and abroad. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, of course. Anywhere <laughs> that occupied. didn't have an embargo. <laughs> the, yeah. the occupied. Man, they love you in the occupied places. Boy, so it is it was, it was supposed to open early 43. Well, the answer print gets destroyed with bombing, which is like another thing like. It probably blew up in that uh, fire in, uh, uh, in Inglorious Bastards. Mm. 
Or maybe it's just like one guy in a goat cart carrying, and they're like, "No way, he goat? gets hit." I, I know, no, it was, just, it was, it was just a thing of like, fl- uh, cellulite flammable. The whole it time, is. the whole time you're doing fucking filming, of, of all the things that could go wrong, you're like, plus there's a war. Like, right. give me a fucking break. It really, it, it, it's really a pain for distribution. When and and a then war especially because there's no internet. So they have, um, you know, uh, Goebbels was really behind this one. And he kind of selected, you know, the the director, who's a guy named Herbert Selpin. And he was, you know, just a guy that was kind of like already under some scrutiny because he had s- seemingly had some films that had uh, British characters looking sympathetic. Uh, so then they gave um, this other guy uh, some script approval to make sure he stayed on, you know, on track. And... They they're they're filming this shit like in like in the studios in Berlin and then they're in the uh the Polish uh Baltic Sea mm. filming the stuff uh on um a, a pre Nazi regime uh vessel uh that looks similar to the Titanic called the SS Cap Arcona. But Goebbels is like, man, we have so much more room to use these these last few years. We can film anywhere now. Yeah, but then also, like, by virtue of doing anything near any port, you are inherently more likely to get bombed. Yes, exactly. So, <laughs> like... It, it, yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's the but so, so they're, they're doing... It's, is, is that the Baltic with Pol- by Poland? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, that P- Poland is, what, northwest of Germany, right? North... Uh, I, I think northeast. Northeast? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're going I, that I, way. I'm asking because I don't know. It's, yeah, it's cl- All right, well, closer to Russia. I have a phone. I'm sorry? Yeah, you have a phone? Oh, well, uh, every time I pick it up, you fucking you chew me out. No, I'm, I don't. I'm trying to pay attention. I don't. Hey, you want to throw questions at me? <laughs> okay. okay. You want me to get the map out while you stand there? I, I, I well, you're telling the story. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't have time to pull the map out. I'm trying to make conversation. This is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so th- at this point, they've already. <laughs> Would you like an answer? Yeah. <sighs> Northeast. Germany is no. Poland is a eastern border of Germany. Got it. And then there's Belarus. Ugh. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Molchat Doma, great band. It, it is basically northeast, but they do share the Baltic Sea. Great. So they're doing the, they're shooting in the Baltic Sea. Yes. No one else is around there. Well, no, Den- no, they're, Denmark they're, they're bombing and, nearby. Uh, where? Uh, I mean, uh, this is forty three. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, they're like England's the, fucking dropping bombs. Yeah, the Royal yeah. Air Force is coming like all the time. Like, yeah, I mean, there's Norway and Sweden and Stockholm. They're they're, they're in the thick Finland. of it. Shit. Um, but didn't Finland like kind of just be like, hey, we'll just stay here? What do you mean? Well, there was one of those Norwegian countries that was just like. Well, Finland at first had a problem with the the Russians invading, uh-huh. and that was a thing. Uh-huh. And then. Yeah, they kind of like made some deal with the Nazis to help keep the Russians out, and then later as long on, as they let them just stay, and then later on they were they like yeah they had some kind of a detente. Yeah, there was some kind of a hey, you know we're the we're the Aryans you people were talking about, right? All right, leave us alone. Can we have some meth? <laughs> yeah, there was that thing. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm just kind of just I'm making a map no, in I my understand. head. I'm I just understand. trying to get a lay of the line. So let me give you let me give you a map of 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 how it goes okay. here. And then, like I said, this is the first movie that was just called Titanic, and it was also the first one that created the format that every Titanic movie after would follow, which is interspersing the real events with fictional characters arc throughout the story, oh, that's great. Uh, which you know goes through James Cameron and everything mm-hmm. else. Like it's all, it all starts really with this Nazi mm-hmm. Titanic, mm-hmm. Um, and it's it's basically you know, uh, uh, Selpin's you know movie. Um, but so here, here's how it starts. It starts with the white star line, uh, like boardroom, right? And they're going like, ah, oh, we got to fucking, uh, you know, we got to set it off with this Titanic thing, daddy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, uh, he's like, we're going to, we're going to get the speed record. He's like, everybody's going to be, everybody's going to be sucking our dicks, daddy. You're going to love it. 
And um, then they're going to fuck with the stock market. So, yeah, there's more of that stuff of like. like oh, because like John Jacob Astor was on the ship or like weren't there a bunch of like bankers uh, on the Titanic? Well, they're, and they're sure, saying sure. they're saying like, oh, before the news breaks, we're going to fuck with the stock market. Yeah, we're going to short United Airlines before 9-11. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, exactly. And so. Um, <laughs> U.S. Steel doesn't stand a chance. So then, of course, they insert some little German officer. I'm here on the Titanic in 1912. Ah, uh, yes, the eyes and ears. And um, he's... If only we had a strong man to, uh, you know... Oh, oh he's, he's actually a crew member. He's actually working on the boat. Yeah. And um, he's... he's, he's uh, I hope he's not a chef. He's begging, uh, you know, the, the executive uh, uh, to, to, you know... He's like, slow down. It's far too icy. So he's the voice of reason. Yeah, he's the yeah, hero. Yeah, okay. And, yes. um, and he's the like... The lone German and, man. And, of course, you know, the horrible British guy's like, nah, fuck that, daddy. And, um... I don't believe we should slow down at all. I say, you Jerry Kraut bastard, get back down into the engine room and do what your people are good for. <laughs> and he tells... <laughs> I'll be up here making the worst food you've ever had in your life. And uh, so Captain Smith is, you know, just like keeping it up, you know, speeding ahead. Um, Smith? Oh, yeah. And then they, and th then they beat, uh, you know, they... Uh, Beat all the records. They beat up the iceberg, you know, or the, the iceberg, iceberg beats up them. Oh, okay. And they, they start going they down. Lost. You see how it was called an iceberg? <laughs> so here's but, here's an interesting thing. It's an iceberg was this metaphor for this Juden. Huh? <laughs> they probably threw some anti-Jewish propaganda at the Keep ice. throwing out guesses. I love it. <laughs> Nobody said this, but you make up your own story. Is it funny? <laughs> Kinda? Is it funny? Is it funny that it's called an iceberg? Oh, because of the le the berg. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, now you're getting it. Well, yeah, I'm trying to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to make you laugh. Well, yeah, well, you... And the, the thousands... The thousands of listeners are friends. They're here to be entertained. Okay. And educated. Mm-hmm. Now, now they know where Poland now is. Now he knows how I... He's just fucking crazy. Poland. Where is it? Was that Northwest? <laughs> I mean, we. Well, I got it fucking half of the directions, geography right? Geography is not a strong point of American schooling. So here, here's. I know, I know the Sudetenland. That's great. <laughs> Are you good? No. Can I go? Pretty fucking far from good. <laughs> it's funny that it's an iceberg. Yes, I get it. I got it now. It's yes, but that could also be Swedish. <sighs> You didn't think about that, did you? Huh? Yeah. Depends. It depends how you spell it. It could be Danish. No, I don't think it Danish. does. I think Danish. they. Have, I think they have bergs that are b e r g. Yeah, and Danish. Da Danish too. Yeah. Even them? That's not these. They're all Nordic. Yeah. Well, they're like dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we can agree. On. <laughs> they, it was a great Dane. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so this is what's interesting is. You have this attack on capitalism, right? While also, like, Nazi Germany is profit, profiting, like, you know... Out the, the ass. Yeah, and they're, they're, yeah. they're huge corporations, right? Right, but it's... it's but it's, it's, in, it's like China now. It's like, oh, it's, we're, it's it's all, we're it's socialism. All, it's, yeah, it's a top-down, yeah. controlled economy. Right. But people are getting rich. Right. Yeah. But is it all also like, hey, Daimler-Benz, do we take, like... 20% of your profits or like how does that you know what I'm saying right. yeah. because they do talk about like national socialism as being like yeah there's classes but like we're all in this to, you know what I mean so like it's yeah, just they, they just put socialism in the name national socialism to court the left leaning members of the society which was a thing with Goebbels specifically and Hitler I think yeah. I told you so like, let's put, put, the let's first put, time he spoke out against like socialism they, they hardcore, hated commies Goebbels was like was like really bummed out because yeah. he like was like Oh, we, man, we need to get some of these middle left. We need to get middle left people to join our cause. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, please continue. I'm so, sorry. so the, the the people in, in first class are shown acting like cowards, right? Which so, is real, right? But there's also still some messaging there, right? Um, and then there's an ex, uh, like girlfriend of the main characters, the the German officer mm -hmm. who is a Russian aristocrat. Oh, oh God! Uh, how, is, how do they date? How and, do they and, meet? How and do a, they start dating? A bunch of the lower class, uh, you know, also German passengers. They're super brave, and you know they're saving people. They're making bread and, as uh, they get off the and ship. He, he rescues a bunch of people, and he gets he gets her on board. Um, uh, the actress that played her, you know, every, everybody's German, of course. The actress that played her would like she worked steady throughout the Third Reich, and then afterwards they were like. 
<sighs> Ooh, yeah. We and she just got like really into drugs and like. Well, she hit thirty. Well, or something. John, I'm going to ask you to extrapolate on that story at some point. That sounds interesting. Uh, elaborate. Mm. Now I can extrapolate. No, I want which to means I want no to fact whatsoever. <laughs> pie in the sky, pulling on a thread. John will elaborate with fact. I will make shit up. So he he gets her to one of the one of the lifeboats. Her character, and then um, uh, and he he gets a seat for the the, uh, the British board guy. You know, uh, and he's like, you know, kind of like, uh, I want you to be responsible for your crimes here. How did they? So show I want you to be saved. Oh, so you have? Uh, oh, he's Batmaning it. You like, uh, yeah. you don't get the luxury of dying. Yeah, you answer you're, you're, for your crimes. Yeah. And uh, so then, um, he finds like swear to me. <laughs> he finds some little girl along the way. Yes, of course. And um, steals her from her parents. Uh, well, no, they've they've no, abandoned I'm, I'm, her. I'm kidding. And uh, he, as like you know, the, the deck is like fucking like sinking in. He dives. Yeah. Do they have? They had like a tilted deck to. Uh, oh, you mean did they do it? It's, did they do it correct to the laws they, of physics? No, I mean, did they do any sinking? Well, it's right. always it's always sloping. Oh, it's yeah, just it's whether just, it breaks or not. Right, right, uh, right. But right. they didn't know about the break until the eighties. Oh, you're right. Sure. Well, but, because breaking. Well, because they didn't fi- they didn't find it until until they found it. Yeah, but even though, like, no, but scientists but, kind of were like, oh, this shit would have broken in half. Yeah, right, sure, and sure, I was okay. in the accounts talked about like when it broke and how like it created a vacuum and sucked people close to it. And that's, that's why, why Leo that's said, oh, he said, well, hold your breath. Right. Because he knew. Because he was from the future. So, um, he uh, uh talks about that. He, you know, it ends up uh jumping with this little girl towards the boat that his, you know, uh, ex-girlfriend is on and they pull him and the little girl up and then uh, they just watch the fucking boat go down. That's like, and then it ends with um, the the German officer te- te- testifying against, you know, the the chairman or whatever. Right, right. Little, and little, little, little uh, cro- crossfade. And he's, he's acquitted. Uh, the chairman is acquitted of everything. And uh, after that, they just have text that just says the deaths of 1500 people remain unatoned an eternal condemnation of Britain's endless quest for profit. That's how Nazi Titanic ends. <laughs> um, but there's there now uh, it's hilarious uh, and so hypocritical. Uh, but there's more to this. There's a lot more to this. So you're going to find out. Uh, first of all, uh, hold on. I, I'm excited. Okay, well that's good. Um, so that's how Nazi Titanic ends. Mm-hmm. Oh, I look forward to the movie German yeah, sons on, the, of on the eighty-six shell disaster. So you know, like I said, they're they're, they're doing um, you know it, this is on board the SS Capricona, which uh, was a pre-Nazi uh, passenger liner, and uh, it was uh, you, you know that that's the ship that they used in that's the ship that they the, used the to film it. And while they were filming. Um, you know, they got uh Selpin and uh you know, he he was selected by Goebbels and he was like demanding more, you know, big sets and Goebbels was indulging him. He kept they put I think four million uh Reichsmarks? Uh yeah. What which would be something like fifteen million dollars or something like <laughs> at the time. Uh I think or fifteen million now. I think it's fifteen million. Who cares? It's a lot of money, we'll never see it. Oh, right. And uh and yeah, the, again, like, dude, they're at war, you know, like it's fucking nuts. But they're also, they're, I mean, they got a lot of money and that part, yes. I mean, advertise, advertising money, propaganda money. It's hard to measure how much it pays back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me look at the WPA stuff in for America during that time. Yeah. And before, yeah. before that time too. Right. It just, I winning, mean, the, winning the, hearts the, and minds. If, if you win hearts and minds, like it's just, you well, you, Goebbels, you, Goebbels you said, can't do an Excel spreadsheet on it. Goebbels said, um, uh, I think he said something along the lines of like, it would be a good thing to win with the most guns, but it would be better to win with hearts and minds. Fuzz? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. you know, Goebbels sounds like a wise man. That, that's why, they, yeah. that's why the guys, gonna isolate that quote. So the guys with the most Please guns do. are like, we got to win the hearts and minds. Right. We got to shoot them through the hearts shoot, and, and their the minds. minds. Yes. And then we'll take take those. So we'll Herbert Zelpin, he was he was picked by Goebbels, and you know, uh, because he had had you know the supposed pro British slant in some of his stuff, you know, he was like they were basically kind of like, hey, we're going to give you another chance here because we like some of your work, but like, 
to keep you in check, uh, we're going to have it co-written by Walter Zillet Orfinius. And he was Orfinius. Uh, far more of a devotee of mm-hmm. uh, the Reich. That must have been an interesting. You uh, gotta have one of them loyalists moment in there. between them, though. And, but no, but they were they were these guys were friends. Oh, okay. Um, oh. But it was definitely like, yeah, like just make sure he, he does the right thing. Mm-hmm. What if he did a? What if he made a swastika with his hands here? So well, this is what they do with like Michael Bay, you know? Like, yeah, we'll give him as much money you want, but you got to make like the fucking Air Force look so, good with the Transformers, right? Right. While they're doing all this shit, they've you know they've done all like the whatever would be in the cabins, I guess, like in Berlin, and then they're doing. You know all the the boat the boat shit yeah. in in uh, on the SS uh, Cap Arcona and do they, do they own the boat? It's a German boat, yeah. Uh, but it was like I said, it was a pre-Nazi uh, vessel. Right. So, um, but oh, it was part of the uh, the em- it was the Empire's boat. It was a right, Empire. yeah, yeah. Um, but so so there was also you know I guess like a hundred mar- like Navy boys. Like German Navy boys mm-hmm. that were like advisors or something, and uh, that's a good gig. And yeah, oh, you're not uh, you're, you're uh, not at so the far. front. Yeah, you're not in a submarine somewhere. You're... So these are Nazi Navy men. Yeah, and they're like extras, but they're kind of like, <laughs> oh yeah, like whatever. Um, but they're you know uh, this is better than being in the U-boat. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no English over here. Believe it or not, these guys are not too cool. Um, they're not too cool Nazis. Yeah, and. Oh. Uh, they were, you know, fucking with the female cast members and uh, just fucking around. And so he held, like, this fucking big meeting. And at it, he talked shit about uh, the Kriegsmarine. Uh, Herbert, you know, just said shit like, these fucking, these Navy guys suck. And, uh, man, I guess everybody always hates on their Navy, huh? <laughs> yeah. But uh, Walter Zerlitz Olfenius, co-writer, reported him to the Gestapo. To the, the reported the director to the Gestapo yes. because he was talking shit about the yes. hyper aggressive Navy men. Yeah, they and were... he was arrested immediately, <sighs> and then um, they were like, Goebbels came and was like, "What the fuck are you doing? I put you in charge of this, and you're saying all this shit. Like you need to take it back." And he's like, "I will not. Yeah. I'm an artist, and, and and they're ruining my picture." Uh, no, but, so, you know, but like Selpin also used to be like a boxer and shit. No, like, but like yeah. you know, he, he doesn't give a shit. He's trying to make a film, yeah. And these yeah. guys are harassing these yeah, actors. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta put fucking makeup on the bruises on these women's <laughs> yeah. faces because yeah. these fucking rapists can't mm-hmm. take five. Yeah, yeah. And they're they're barely even in the film. They shouldn't even. You know, it's like uh, Gestapo. That's like a kind of an acronym, right? It's, is it doesn't it mean like uh, I'm like it's not like German state police, but it's. It, I, I I was wondering if you maybe knew. I I'd, I'd never heard of that. I don't. I think it's, I think it's kind of like kind of an acronym type of they were an abbreviation of something. But anyway, sorry. I just. Uh, well, Matt's gonna check because you you won't. You'll just ask. Matt, he has, he has a phone. In this business, Aaron, you gotta have a phone, buddy. You have to have a phone. We gotta call and make deals. Oh, it's my agent. It's, it's oh, an no. abbreviation of Geheimstaatspolizei, which means. Uh. I mean, basically, jacked up Nazi thugs. police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, what does it mean? Stats means state, polizei means police. Yeah, state and police, okay. Oh, se- secret states police. Secret. Geheim Stasi police. I was close. SS? Secret state police. Same? No, Stutstapel. Huh. SS means Stutstapel. They which were is a dessert. dessert. <laughs> which is also, it, the SS was really not supposed to be an SS. It was supposed to be two lightning bolts. Mm. Which well, was they, Norse runes. Oh, it's like they have like straight up Hydra thing? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. SS was Norse runes. Yeah, That's for really sure. Funny. We can super, get into that later. You can elab- I'll elaborate on that. Can you cool. extrapolate on it, though? But yeah. th- I like your story. Yeah, well, do you listen or do you wait to talk? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Good answer. Thanks. <laughs> so... Uh, Selpin is found hanged in his cell within 24 hours. Jesus Christ. The director of the picture. Uh, Did he use his own bandages? Uh, he used his trousers. Oh, his... Yeah. <laughs> Which had shit in them. Because <laughs> his, his, his murderers were coming <laughs> towards his jail cell. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, he was killed by the Gestapo. Wait, wait, wait. Was there really shit in his pants? No, there was not shit oh, in his pants. There was no shisa was, in his... No. Uh, what are those but called? Yeah, they, Lederhosen? Uh, they, like, they were just like... Um, Lederhosen? I'm out of here, bro. But he was hung, He was hanged in his cell. Yeah. 
Uh, and and the prevailing theory is that it was by the Gestapo. Yeah, that uh, yeah, the, I mean, the well, Gestapo yeah. was just like, hey, this this aggression will not stand, uh, <laughs> even if it's the fucking director you chose. Uh, if you know, basically, like his last chance was to apologize and take it back, and he didn't, and then it was just like <sighs> dead. What a nightmare. Yeah. So, and this was a German director who had shown no all he, the the quote unquote worst thing he did. You know, it was in, in the context of British sympathetic uh, of storylines in prior motion pictures. Yeah, yeah, but then, when, uh, uh, keeping, then keeping in mind that th- they're cousins of of the German royal family, right? right no, no, is no, the no, British royal no, family. No, but but in this moment, the quote unquote worst thing he did was say, "Hey, can the these navy men stop? Yeah, can these guys fuck off? Can stop fucking up my movie by hitting my actors? Yeah, oh, or like molesting, or women, yeah, or like, insulting them, yeah. basically. Yeah, God damn. Well, I think, you know, it sounds like the other guy was like, here's my chance to direct the movie. I oh, yeah. always no, wanted no. to be an actor. <laughs> uh, he was, yeah, he was a more dyed-in-the-wool uh, uh, Nazi guy. Uh, yeah. Uh, but he didn't get directed. They brought in some other guy named... <laughs> they still didn't let him do yeah, uh, This guy's too uncontrollable. Uh, uh, Werner Klingler. Klingler? Uh, yeah. And uh, he, so he took over, and he is uncredited. You guys want anything in Um. Uh, yeah, one more. So the cost was four million Reichsmarks, Aaron, uh-huh. which uh, would be fif- total, total cost is four million. Total cost. That's what they say. It's uh, about a wheelbarrow full of money. And they've yeah, there's been reports that it was like as much as a hundred and eighty million uh, in in uh, the equivalent of 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 of, of modern dollars. Uh, but it was what? yeah, but it was really it was really something more like fifteen million in those days. Uh, and, you know, because keep in mind, like, too, like, you know, it's kind of like a state fucking run deal, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you, so you have to imagine, like, what do they already own that they're not paying for? Or what are the kickbacks that they're, you know, the, it is it is a system like that. It's built for some sort of corruption of... It was yeah. uh, the it, it most. Iraq. It was the most expensive German production to date at that point. Um, and so yeah, they they go through you know the, the stuff of um, they specifically talk about British avarice uh, as as the thing that they you know uh, are are you know limbasting and uh, capitalism is is really attacked, which I still don't really understand again because uh, G- Germany was you know. So, I mean, you know, I guess, like you said, it was it was a Chinese capitalism. The state and capital were w- one and the same. Right, which is, I mean, it's it's not true capitalism, I guess, if you wanted to nitpick. But right, like, but neither is they, ours. They, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah exactly, they were exactly. they were critiquing an, another version of the thing that they were they were. But isn't it so funny? The like uh, the the the, fir- the yeah, fire it's is all corporatism. The fire is yeah. over fucking uh, communism. And then this shit is all like, oh, these fucking capitalists. It's like, okay, what are what are you? Like, what are you yeah. saying? You know, and you're like, oh, we're like witches. Oh, nepotism, <laughs> oligarchy. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, we're all doing the same shit. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just, a, it's a, it's the same thing by a different name with this structure that is meant to yeah. funnel money to the top. Yeah. While also pretending that you're looking out for... Uh, Selpin before did work for uh, the original Fox company. Fox? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh and I was just reminded of that because one of the anti-British uh, Irish uh, <laughs> ruses by the, the Nazi propaganda was the Fox, the Fox of Glenarvan, which is not a real Irish town. <laughs> and then there was another one called My Life for Ireland, which follows like in an almost gangs of New York way, like father son, mm-hmm. like one dying and then the other one taking over the fight kind of thing. Mm. Um, and, you know. I'm just curious to see all of them at this point. <laughs> like, all the movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? I'm just like, hey. I mean, it's such a fucking good. bizarre thing out of time. Did they get an Irish actor for these? or no, Everybody's German in all of these. Uh, yeah. uh, and they're probably all speaking German, too. Right. And, and back, They just have a fucking they, corn cob none pipe of them in their are, mouth. None of them are even trying an accent. Uh, 
I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know how you do a. I mean, that's the funny thing <laughs> about being. <laughs> I read Ishali Badish now. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Yes, you should do. Uh, no. You should do. This is your new character. Ich bin ein Berliner now, you know. If I don't finish Berliner now, I don't know what I am. <laughs> das Juden ist. Das Juden ist. Uh, I mean, that's, that's what's so funny about being so provincial as I know I am. Uh, you know, how do you. The only, the only experience I have is that, uh, like that is being in Spain and going to uh, Chinese run restaurants mm. and hearing Chinese people speak Spanish. Oh and, yeah. And you're like, oh holy shit, this is fucking bonk. I I don't, I think I don't know. I don't have words for this. I don't know how to process this. That's my one one example. You're like, oh my god, the fucking Chinaman. Oh, you know, he's hapless. <laughs> he's hapless. He's hapless. Ch- the Chinaman cooked the fucking shit out of this goddamn paella. <laughs> you got any ceviche back there, Jim? <laughs> I mean, bonjour. I mean, ça va. Yeah. So there, it's something to explore. Well, you know, you know, you know, it's the what's fact, what what does a German actor do you know, to be an Irish? Do you know what I didn't notice? Uh, you until a cane and a hat. Somebody, somebody pointed it out. And a drinking problem. <laughs> every every fucking movie yeah. is set in Rome. British, it's a British, British accent. accent. Yes. Any yes. anything that's in Europe, period. Yeah. Uh, Especially if it's uh, royal ish. Royal ish, yes. Well, it's, so it's, it's, it's the de facto aristocratic accent yes. and the de facto uh, ancient history. Uh, uh, and they'll also have the fucking the common people be like, oh, what? Well, uh, uh, and they're northerners. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know the um, uh, the the movie made about the uh, the nuclear meltdown in uh, or not the movie the China it, Syndrome Chernobyl yeah. Chernobyl. Oh, right? the miniseries event the mini-series. on H- <laughs> yeah, HBO. Not, not a movie. The miniseries on HBO. Uh, you know they had British accents, but everything else about but it. But this shit. Was so. They should have been doing more like. No, no, it's okay because look at you watch Black Widow. The like, the the accents. I in don't that, think the accents were the problem with the movie Black Widow. No, there's Widow. a lot of problems with that, but the accents. The were problem fucking was the garbage. female cast. No, I'm kidding. Where the accents were garbage. <laughs> totally kidding. Like the names of the Russian characters were terrible. Like, don't pretend. Just if you're going, you know. Chernobyl was amazing because the the set pieces, everything about it, yeah, the thought put into it was set in that time in Russia or the Ukraine, and but but the, the, but but they the theme, spoke English, they spoke yeah, with an English yeah, accent, and you don't care because the themes that they were illustrating were yes. hyper prescient as opposed to Black or Widow, hyper applicable to the times that we live in, where everybody's a ski. And then they speak with an accent. You're like, there's no place in Russia that has it. Stop trying to pretend like you're Russian. I, I, I understand and agree with what you're saying. But if the writing is good enough, yeah. you can get away with people doing bad Russian accents. Uh, yeah, if the writing is yeah, good yeah, enough. Yeah, that's fair. That's Chernobyl fair. on HBO totally could have got away with doing bad Russian True. accents because the True. writing and the themes and the critique was that good. Yeah. When the set pieces, you know, there's a, there's a Russian person I follow. He's like, those are the ashtrays we would use. Yeah. Those are the, you know, so it's like you get, you get the, those details, mm-hmm. right? You can, you can fuck. You with can the, get it. You get, can some you get some leeway with the yeah. other shit. Well, with, with some of these movies, you know, they were always the, the Nazi propaganda movies. They were always undoing themselves. Cause like I said, in the case of the Irish movies, they kind of showed how similar the British were uh, to the Nazis, except a little nicer, maybe. <laughs> and in the case of Titanic, they would have scenes of, like, the panicked first-class passengers, like, you know, trapped behind cages that were, like, kind of, like, reminiscent of, you know, people escaping the camps. Yeah, around that yeah. time, because and, narrative is always uh, going to serve the people, underdog. People, yes, people yeah, searching yeah. for their loved ones and stuff like that, and yeah. they're trying to show it in some kind of way of like that's what you get. But the audience is going like, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Human, human nature is human nature, and you know, you show fucking Star Wars to people. Who do you side with? The terrorists, right? It, and it does it. And who and if you, and if you're watching it in any Western educated uh, liberal democracy or whatever, or you know whatever, the truth is is that you are part of the empire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you always side with the rebels. Right. The scum. 
Right. And so it's tough to do yeah. sin- in a, in a top down fascist state where there is pro- like you know so a ministry here, here, of propaganda, you can't make good art. Here's a, here's a funny thing about that is that uh, you know uh, the guy who it, who's the protagonist is kind of you know an officer or whatever, and he's got you know, there's higher up people in the military telling him like, hey, stop making trouble about this Titanic thing, and he disobeys them. So like people in the Nazi like the thing were like. Hey, you shouldn't show this for this reason alone. Like we this, need this guy's we not need, following this guy's not following orders. Yeah. And we they had a thing called like the the Führer Zipplinger or something like that, which was just like no matter the order, follow. And they were like, we don't really want to show that. So uh, it was supposed to be released early forty three. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the answer print or whatever was you know bombed. So so I looked at the, so the answer print is the first print they make after they. Do color correction, color correction, and sound. Yeah. So it is like the primo print. It doesn't mean they lose anything. They it's can make they, another print. Yeah. But, it's but it takes the, time. It's the primo print. Yeah. Uh huh. So and then that's the one they shipped, and then they make more prints out of so, it in other places. So it has a pretty decent uh, premiere in Paris, and people. Are, you don't say Nazi Nazi control Paris. Well, I mean, you know. No, I, I listen, I, man. I the, honestly. <laughs> It's a if you've ever been to Paris, mean, you totally get why they were like, just don't bomb anything. No, but, but uh, I mean, at this, at that point, how many new movies were there in Paris? Well, also, okay, but here's, here's the thing, too. is Blitz, uh, Goebbels would not release it in Germany. Really? Feeling that uh, they were already getting bombed so much that like people didn't need panic and running on a screen. And also, like he didn't want to see Germ- oh. Germany being... The metaphor for the boat going this, down, yeah, the unsinkable Jesus power. Christ. So it was actually it's a good move. It was actually a good move on his part. <laughs> it was actually only released in occupied territories. It's perfect. Prague, Paris, and it's also a and larger it did, population. And it, did, and it did pretty well. Those what, are also what? there's more people in the occupied territories than there are in fucking Berlin. And- I, I mean, it is the right move, but it's such a, it's such a, it's perfect. It's perfect. Think of like, well, like we can't. Show I don't. The, I don't. I don't like your politics, but your business acumen was right. We can't show the people that this it was, was it made was, it for. It was called Führer Prinzip. Hmm. Führer Prinzip, which is probably like Führer Principle. Oh, meaning I mean, uh, do and, not disobey. Yeah. So and and so to have your main character being somebody who is disobeying orders would be antithetical, right. to what you are trying to promote but, uh, in your country. But yeah. of course, yeah. of course. You know, the director is going with what you're saying of, like, to be a hero, you have to disobey. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know? that's, <laughs> like, that's why these syst- those systems never work. Yeah, yeah you, you, you can't you have a can't piece sti- of... You can only stifle the individual so much. You can't have a piece of art that champions the little person in a Because system what like is an ocean other than a mass of droplets? <laughs> <laughs> so... The thing uh, is, I'll to that. Uh, <laughs> after after the uh, after the filming was completed, uh, the SS Caparcona was made, aka the Titanic. Uh, yeah, the play, Mo- played the Titanic the movie. <laughs> was made, this, this actor played the Titanic? I'm not the Titanic, but I played one in the movie. Uh, and they uh, made it into a prison ship. Oh, good. Oh. Filled it with Jewish prisoners. Oh, no. Oh. And they were actually hoping that the British would bomb it. And the British mm. did. Jesus bo- Christ. Uh, and by some accounts, uh, it was sunk by the Nazis themselves, but some people say the RAF did bomb it. And the loss of life was three times the Titanic. Oh, my God. And that's the real movie. Dude, what the fuck? No, oh, that's the real movie right there. Hey, we got this whole ship here, and we know that we... And that was, that was like, you know, late days of the war. I think Himmler was already, like, on the outs, uh, you know, and they just were like, you know, just burn the bridges behind you. Burn the evidence, burn um, every single... What, you remember that ship? But, I mean, you're talking about... They're talking about the outrage of 1,500 people killed by capitalism... And they kill forty five hundred in, in one move. Yeah, uh, to, well, to save did, money. Did they have scruples to save money? Not even to save money. They were just like, "Well, we got this ship here that we don't need anymore." 
They just put up a barrier. Why, why and filled, build a prison? F- filled it full of people. Yeah, why build a prison? No, those are people who are already prisoners. They just moved them there. Mm. Well, I mean, listen, man. Zyklon B costs money. Why not let the British drop fucking depleted uranium? I know that doesn't. Ex- I know it didn't exist at the time. What I'm saying is, why why should we pay for the gas when the Germans could do it for us? No, you don't have to rationalize. It's just it. it you know what I'm saying. You yeah. know I'm right. Yeah, I don't know about that. But what I do think it's really funny that in the movie, it's like all about the British sinking the Titanic, and then the British actually do sink, sink the, Titanic. the Titanic. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, it's also it, an, it is also like a, uh, you know, a Kaiser era ship. So, like, mm-hmm. it's also symbolic to, like, get rid of the previous regime. No, I think they were down to hold on to that. Uh, the Nazis. I mean, maybe the British do, maybe the British don't. I I mean, mean, otherwise, yeah. they would have. They wouldn't keep using it. Well, it's there. It's free. It's free. At that point, they were just throwing up any roadblock they could. Uh And if they could fill it with a bunch of people they wanted to kill, they were they were just fucking insane. They yeah yeah they were were just completely fucking insane. Um, and throughout they were making fucking movies, and people would go to see them. Like it's it's just so crazy to think of. It goes on for five years. And everybody on either side is just going like, fuck, I, I hope this works out. Yes. And then the people in the middle are going like, yeah, we're not French anymore. Do you want to go to the movies? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, right. And how that bizarre. That... Well, I think the, I think the French <laughs> never were like, we're not French anymore. No, but I think the French you, were but, like, but you got to play the game. You, you see how we didn't let them blow up our shit? French, right, right. I mean, I, like they're, everybody they're calls pl- the French fucking cowards and shit for capitulating, but like, <sighs> no, I get you, I get you. Well, I, I, mean, I don't, I don't hate, I don't see that as cowardice. I don't see it as, um, like, you know, uh, sac- sacrificing your national identity. Like, man, if you've been to Paris, you know. It looks pretty good. Well, I, I think I think you know. There's two things. One is that their response to World War One was so extreme. Yeah, mm-hmm. that it actually was their was part of the problem like, with do World we War Two. This again. So they actually did put a lot of effort on that. But also, you have to give a lot of credit to a place that has such a a cultural cachet. I mean that they that are they are their their only thing is culture. I mean, so Par- they, Par- they made Paris so nice that a guy whose job it was to destroy it because as he was and, leaving and rebuild it. No, no, no. As he was leaving, his he was ordered to destroy it, and it was so nice. Like, that they did nah. such an amazing job making this place that he couldn't even bring himself. What a German guy? The 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 general who was in charge of really? destroying the mm-hmm, city. Mm-hmm. He's like, he, yeah, he, come on. Hitler was like, no, okay, so now you're pulling out of there and destroying it, everything. And he was like, no, but and have you been? Do it. Have you been to the Champs Elysees? <laughs> my Führer, you wouldn't get it. Wow, and that's you know, it's fucking that's nice. A, that's a form of 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 warfare itself to make a place so nice. It, you kid, well, that's can't it. destroy it. Paris is the uh, is like the New York. Before New York, you know, where it's like, guys, you just, man, you just don't get it. Come on, like, I'm not gonna fuck. Well, it's also just like w- wars come and go, right? You know. Yeah, well, and I, you know, in a, in a place like Paris has been around for, you know, I, I forget who I was talking to, but they were talking about the, you know, that idea of the, you know, someone building a church that takes five. Oh, we were talking you know, about it on the show last week. Years. Yeah. Yes. Legacy and and knowing that you're a part of a, a something that you'll never see the completion of. Yes. Uh. And there, and, and and you know, your spirit is then imbued in upon that, so you 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 you've got a little bit of immortality. Yeah, right. Um, here, here, just a real quick thing while we're talking about culture, the culture and stuff like that. Because you know, uh, Marshall Plan stuff, uh, mm-hmm. realizing like, oh yeah, First World War, like we rubbed their fucking faces in it, um, we really humiliated them. Werewolf fucking Hanover, the Vampire Dusseldorf, you know, just people, you know, trailer loads of money, getting a loaf of bread, like all this shit, and then Hitler corrals all that humiliation into angst and after failing a couple times, yeah, but eventually brings them roaring back to the point where they're like, 
demanding respect. And then, of mm-hmm. course, he goes overboard and freaks out. But after that, the, the U.S. and other people were like, yo, <laughs> they're not going anywhere. So, like, uh, Germany. The U.S. says that about Germany? Yeah, a lot of rebuilding Europe was about being like, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. The first time we were wrong. Yeah, you can't uh, wipe a place off the map. Uh, so we need to go right. back and... But after that, um, you know, you've got the, the split Germany, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. whoever is prevailing there, you know, of course the Americans are going to be like, well... You're talking about East and West Berlin. East You're and talking West, about... Uh, East and West Germany. And um, it, uh, uh, yes, but, but that was it was the Berlin Wall. Yes. Right, got it. But, you know... The, One side is the conquering powers are still going to kind of want to be like, hey, okay, well, we're going to have some control over the culture. Yeah, they, a, a what they did bit. was a, a joint custody <laughs> over a, a country. Yeah, which uh, is a nightmare, right? Uh, and especially when you keep it separate. So here's what's funny about that: as uh, this is just like a microcosm. Um, shortly after the war, Titanic, dubbed in Russian, <laughs> uh, opening credits removed to hide where it comes from. Uh, it was screened across the Eastern Bloc as a quote unquote trophy film. And <laughs> it was reissued. Trophy going, film. do you see what happens? Mm. Do you see what happens when you invest in capitalism? And you find a stranger uh, in the Alps. <laughs> reissued in 49, uh, quickly banned in the Allied occupied territories until a censored version <laughs> deleting the final scene at the inquiry and the overt uh, anti British propaganda was approved for distribution in West Germany. So even then, they're propagandizing the propaganda. Yeah. And, like, it's just, like... It still happens today. I mean, Iron Man 3 was edited. Uh, Age of Ultron was edited. I mean, for yeah. for the Chinese market, yeah. like... Oh, all yeah. Of, all of those Dude, things some are things still just edited. Don't want, some things don't get released in China. Right. And if they do, the Chinese government has a final cut. Yeah. And they film entirely different scenes. Because that's a fucking a billion and a half people over there, right? Who you know have bad taste in movies, and but you gotta sell them movies, and it's it's shitty, right? But it goes into the the spreadsheet, and the movie doesn't get made unless they factor that in. Sure, and. Um, not much has changed in that respect. Well, uh, in the aftermath of that, uh, the 50s, you know... It fade- the Mandarin wasn't the villain in Iron Man 3. The man, right. The Mandarin. Uh-huh. And, you know, uh, one of Iron Man's greatest villains follows through time. You know, slightly problematic in terms of the racial stereotypes or whatever, but... Mm-hmm. Yes. You think they were going to make a Chinese guy the villain? <laughs> No. Why? Because they got to sell it to China. Yeah, but they probably love Chinese guys in China. But not if they're the bad guy. Mm. I'll tell you what, Shang-Chi, they're not going to fucking edit a goddamn thing out. Okay. (laughs) Anyways, I'm just saying not a lot has changed because you have to keep in mind your audience. And so you edit. Or oh, right, but, but, but it's just preposterous where you should just be like, look, here's this piece of na- piece of Nazi propaganda. Look how, uh, look how stupid this is. It is preposterous. It is. Pro- it's just you're like, right. There's no, there's no better propaganda than by showing somebody making propaganda yes, yes, yes. and just being like, can you believe that these fucking assholes thought they were going to win? Yeah, you, you don't need to fluff it up. You don't need to pretend it's something else. You just I know, say, but, look, but it just shows it. that they still believed it. in what the Nazis were teaching. Yes. They still believed. Yes. And so. But not, one, not all propaganda is lies. And pro- propaganda is not. Uh, it wasn't until after World War II that propaganda was has a negative connotation, because it, if you look at it in the dictionary, there is no bad or good propaganda. Propaganda is just a thing, right? Right. But the lack of critical thinking is obviously bad, right? And that is a pro- that is a product of whatever culture you're in. Sure, sure, sure. But and you know. Sometimes you have to be conscious of it. Right. So anyway, Depend- after the, after the you know the, the Russian version and the you know American approved or British approved uh, West German version, um, it kind of go you know goes like back underground and then it's like 
European TV might pop it up once and then release the Snyder cut. And then they uh, <laughs> they had a censored VHS in Germany in ninety two, and then um, what are Kino censor? Kino video, which Kino is cinema in German. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> in <laughs> in, in, <laughs> in two thousand five, they put out the uncut version, and that came out on DVD. Did and you say ninety five. Uh, I was, excuse me, 2005, 2005. Okay. and uh, Blu-ray 2017. Um, hey. And uh, yeah, so it was. So we are able to get the original vision of uh, the one guy who was hanged in his no, cell. No, well, not not the original Selp, vision. Selpin, Selpin, uh, Selpin was but he was murdered, replaced, but he was replaced before, before yeah. they but finished filming. But we're able filming. to see what was released in the occupied territories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. And you, know, and you know what that's the product of? Western capitalism. In what way? People want something. Give it to them. Yeah, well, I mean... And I'm not a, I'm not a fucking capitalist or what. I, I, I'm just a consumer who's well, it's, in it's, the matrix. It, it's curiosity, too, but, isn't it? It's not sheer capitalism. But the capitalism. fact that you're even able to be curious without un, under penalty of death or excommunication. Yeah. And the fact that there is some company who can get the rights to that thing and find it and sell it and make money off of it... That's the only reason that thing yeah, exists. I would attribute it more to the guy not burning down Paris than I would the the, oh, the capitalist I, yeah, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, yeah, yeah. one guy's a hero. <laughs> no, but I just mean like I think I think there's somebody just like holding onto a cut, being like, eventually everything will chill out enough where like this isn't politicized that mm-hmm. we can just be like, mm-hmm. yo, wouldn't it be fucked up to watch a Nazi yeah. Titanic yeah. right now? But yeah, he's not he's yeah, not yeah. giving it away for free. No, but someone, so who, who even owns it at that no, stage? I mean, no, no, the world. So, someone bought the distri- but somebody, distribution. Somebody rights. The, somebody no, bought the rights. Somebody bought the rights. Somebody, somebody but, did not buy the rights. They took it when they took the country, and that's the fucking funny are, thing are about it. Are they giving it away for free? No. Okay, but I'm sure Kino Video isn't like the biggest company on earth. No, but you don't have to be. No, but what I'm saying is you're not. You're missing the point. These countries took the thing as occupiers. And then they did whatever they wanted with it, including taking some of the scenes from the film and throwing them in A Night to Remember. <laughs> a Night to Remember. <laughs> straight up, they the, just cut Straight the up scenes. took, yeah, just took scenes. And they were like, that's a good scene. And they were Put like, it. oh, look at that water coming down that hallway. Yeah. They were like, that's ours. Bingo. I'm not joking. That's, that's capitalism. That's cool. That's <laughs> colonialism. That is, dude, that is, that is. I mean, maybe it's just art. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted to say like, there's that's like, just like there's that's like, good. No, that's good. That's no mine. <laughs> no, no, mine, mine, mine. Maybe, mine. I mean, maybe there's like. So it's even worse. It's colonialism. It could have been artistic a, colonialism. Hey, now that I can sign up for. It could have been like just an inside joke, you know. No, it, 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 it could be both. Yeah, it's, 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 it's both. It's honestly four. I think four quick scenes. But they were just like a night to remember. They were, they were like, "We're not gonna get that that fucking good." Well, you know what it is. It's you ter- ever watch this Nazi shit? It's pretty cool. You know what it is. You know what it is. <laughs> it's Tarantinoism. The, the best artist steal kind of thing. The a good artist borrow, great artist steal, mm. which is Picasso. Well, well, it could all. It could also be a thing. But, it could also be a thing that says a studio says, "We have a collection of stock scenes. If you need it." Mm-hmm. Oh no! This Don't is, ask I mean, how we got them. Well, yes, a, a, yeah, I mean, a, a, like, a you, night okay, to remember. You, you need water going down a hallway. A night to remember is a, is a, is a British production, and uh, you know you got to never say, forget with the uh, with the British you know broadcasting shit. There is incredible quality that can yeah, be oh. that can be very critical of Britain. Absolutely, and but they, they but, are a testament to state run or state funded media that is. Not, um, uh, uh, unable to criticize itself. Sure. Yes. And same thing with the, the CBC, the Canadian broadcast. They, the right. Canada puts out some ex- great stuff. But I'm sure that in a British production like this, they were just going like, by the way, you know, we do have this by virtue of winning. <laughs> so if you want some. Get some. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Spread it, it, it on. It could be a poetic choice or it could be a thing that says we have stock, we have footage that people, no one has seen, so they won't think it's from something else that can fill this I, scene. I, I, I also think it's, it's also very mafia of don't forget who does you favors. No, I, no, no. no, no in I, my, in I, my, I mean that in a positive no, way. No, I don't. I, I don't think it's that. In my opinion, it was, it was actually people in hindsight going, 
The fucking Silpin's fucking not, like, Nazi Titanic movie is pretty good. Yeah. And, like, it's got the propaganda element for sure, but, like, like good I said, art, it's good art. the tropes that came from it that stayed uh, in every Titanic movie afterwards. Dude, there's good Russian movie. There's good, like, the Soviet era Russian movies that, yeah, like, of course, yeah. they remake in The Untouchables and shit. Like, good art is good art. Yeah. And artists are inherently subversive. Right. Right. And so, even, and so that's the thing too and, is that, and even and, and under the pressure cooker of totalitarian regimes, those artists really have to be good, yeah, to even just survive and subtle, subtle. Yes, that's right. Because you know the, the, you have you have to outsmart Lenny Riefenstahl stuff and like you know playing up uh, power of the will. Hey, playing up a uh, triumph of the will. What did I say? Power. Power. Yeah. You know, you're right. It's triumph. But like you know, there was some people going like. Was she playing up, you know, the homoeroticism of, you know, like the... With the, the missiles looking yeah, the like Nazi, the Nazi, yeah, No, yeah, like yeah, the Nazi yeah. just like the whole thing of, you know, a lot of leather and, you know... Oh, or, come on. I don't know. I don't, I, mean, were, I don't know if leather daddies became a no, thing. No, no, no. But I'm just saying was like... Was she playing it up or was it just always there? Well, it was just like seeing like, you know, like... You're like, you're thugs, but you have to be dressed immaculately. Like, what's going on? Well, the, she's not yes. wrong. She's not wrong. Yeah. Uh, but part Take part of warfare and and statism is uniformity. Yes, and it is to remove the individual. Right? Yes, uh, the fact that it is uh, almost always men is a product of a number of things, uh, and it's uh, it's not gay if you do it while you're at war. Yeah, but also there's I mean, no women there. Up until recently, the uh, the amount of you know homosexual fascist leaders in the wake is just astonishing, and it's fine these days. <laughs> no, I just mean like it's just so like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, what is your like what? What are you saying? Like this fucking asshole in Austria that like had the car crash, or whatever, and he was like coming back from a gay bar. Oh like, yeah, yeah, one hundred and twenty uh, no, like, miles like, an like hour, like a gay chateau or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. it's like what the fuck are you talking? Like, shut yeah. up. And you, I mean, you just can't repress who you are because otherwise it comes out the other end and it's, it's all fucked up. Well, he could totally be a gay dictator. It's well, like, he's a gay dictator. Uh <laughs> yeah, but not when you know, not when people are going to the fucking. Camps. Yeah, when when on when on right, one end you're like right. you're murdering people for being that way and right yeah and you justify it because you know you, such a, you, you uh, give yourself uh, allowances because you're the doing thing, for the, the you're doing the greater good but the, uh, the quote from fucking Nixon about it just being like sure we know guys that do it but that, they keep it under wraps but he's saying the, like he's like you know yeah Bohemian Grove is the fucking gayest like, homoist oh, place in the world but like he's admitting like. Oh no! Like people, we know people, people like, in our circle. Like yeah, yeah. they're they're well, doing of course, it. Of course, but like, Keep but it. like what? Like what? Like no, you know people. Like what the fuck are you talking about? What do you mean? Like just like why? Like why are you like trying to fucking still like, you know, like stifle this and like you know, but it, people admitting they're doing it would be the worst thing on earth. It's, it's like an, it's you a, know guys that do it. It's an exercise of power, but also some of that is probably because. The people underneath you also want power too. Well, and, he just, and your base is defining. Sometimes your base defines the rules, and you say, "Okay, well, I want to make sure I keep the base." Oh no! In, in, in my so opi- I will let. In I my will- opinion, no, I don't. I don't think so. I think he was with the base on, on the aspect because he was. He's delivering. Reasons why he's going, he's like every the Romans, every, every great society goes down once the faggots start being but, but, public. But he's not going against people who support him, too, right? If those people so who support it, him, it could be political, but it could also be a very personal belief. It could be both, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's, yeah, there's some, I think I think there's allowances. Uh, there's some nuance there too. In, oh yeah, he's going. Well, he's a great man. He can do it. Yeah, as long as he keeps it to himself, that's fine. I mean, like, like, Reagan and I Rock, never judge. Reagan and Rock Hudson and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You Wait, know. Reagan fucked Rock Hudson? <laughs> no. Oh, you mean like Rock Hudson died of AIDS? Re- yes, and Reagan and ignored, his wife. And uh, yeah, they totally denied the AIDS uh, when, when when it was politically, uh, you know, when he felt it was political. The dad from whether the Brady, whether he even knew what he was doing. He, he was Brady shook bunch. by it though. Yeah, he was shook by it. Yeah, you and should. And then be did shook. nothing because it wouldn't have been politically helpful to him. He be- uh, yeah. he <laughs> believed, but what he could have done is acted on it. And then transform politics 
by making it important. He oh, yeah. But he remember. chose to. I mean, maybe he didn't choose, right? People he, chose for at, him at, the, at that point, right? Dick Cheney's in charge. I mean, or whatever, who's to right? say? You know, it's uh, he was. You know, man, he was an actor. You don't think he fucking chugged the fucking hog every once in a while, dude? That fucking Reagan documentary. If I can ever find it for you guys, I'll send it to both of you. But it was on HBO a lot, and it was one of these things where when they're talking to, to Ronnie Jr., who's definitely gay as gay. fuck. Yeah, yeah, he is gay. Well, yeah, he admits that. I, I didn't. I never knew that. Oh, I just saw him being interviewed by a pool in Miami and assumed. <laughs> <laughs> He's Cuban and gay. Yeah, gay guys are always by a pool in Miami. Wait, wait, wait. Ronnie Jr.'s Cuban? I'm just saying he's by a pool in Miami. He's Cuban and gay. Those are my two assumptions. Yeah. And okay. Man, Ronnie Reagan, B. Yeah, you know yeah, Reagan. Yeah. Cuban sympathizer. Yeah. No, I didn't say he's a Cuban. I mean, no, all, no, but he, oh, he, there's no Cuban anti sympathizers. But in, it, in, he, was, he was Nancy and Ron's. I'm, yeah, and the other one... I, I'm sure he smoked a fucking few Cubans Jesus. if you catch my Frisbee. I think I can. Oh, no, I have to catch yours? You didn't just catch mine? Well, we can play catch Jesus back and forth. Christ. I'm a switch. But he talks about, uh, you know, the... the uh, I'm sure he smoked a few of those, cut or uncut. He go, he's like, he's <laughs> yes. like, you know, my dad is like... He's always remembered as like, you know, oh, well, I, uh... I, yeah, uh, what, we you know, and, and, and the whole, like, so he goes, but he's like, my dad's governor of yours. He's like, very angry man. Yeah. Because he's the guy that's like the governor of California that like hates Californians. Yes. <laughs> he hates liberals in the 70s mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. feels like... <laughs> Same thing with like Nixon running to be governor. It's like... you don't, Stop it. You don't want to govern these people. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to change them. Yeah. No, you want you want the you want the title. Yeah, you want to the, shoot them. You, you yes. want the power to change them and impose no, your will. He doesn't even care about you. He just wants the the the... After he loses the election, he the for president, he just wants to have another title that makes him. But it's it's also, it's it's also you know the feather in the cap. Uh, whether you're the Democrat from Arkansas or the Republican from California, yeah, yeah. you you made it through and you got elected right, despite, right. despite all the things. Oh, and the thing is, like it's like it? it's like Arkansas is not the same as California. It's like no. people are like. They don't know California is mad conservative, man. Yeah, yeah, there are more Republicans in California than any other state. Any other state. Any other state. Per capita, that's not true. But No, not but, per capita, but, but, but total, just gross numbers. Total. Total. Yeah. And, I, There's and, a fucking and, shit and, ton and of these I assholes. Think, I don't think people can... can I think I told you people. that a few months ago. No. You didn't believe me. That's and not true. I looked that up uh, about two years ago. Oh, I, actually, I, I yeah. posted about it on Twitter. <laughs> or maybe yeah. I learned it from you, yeah, and I repeated it back to you. One uh, of one of our listeners did say uh, to me, and I, I was grateful for the message because we, we were. I'm grateful for everything our listeners sent, even the, if it's the, critical. But of me. he he was just saying he's like, listen, he goes, I voted for Trump the first time, and he goes, and because of something we were saying on Patreon or something. Yeah, what state does this person live in? It doesn't matter. It does. No, no. it doesn't. If it's California, just let it him doesn't. finish the anecdote. What is going on? Because sometimes it's a protest vote. Okay, no, but it, no, it's not. Maybe he, maybe okay. maybe you'll we'll hear the rest of it in the I'm, I'm story. Listening. I'm listening. So he was just saying, like, when we were like, you know, I think I started by going like, you know, there's these things where you just want to punch holes in things, and like you're not actually arguing in good faith. Yes. And you don't want to be challenged. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, listen, you know, like I love, you know, I love listening to your show, and he's like, I like into the military and the flag and I voted for Trump the first time and he's like and I like my fucking thinking challenged and yeah, I was like I was yeah. like I'm very grateful you said that and I'm yeah. very grateful it's like you're not like fucking being like a butt hurt like we're because yes. like, I'm not going to be either I'm just going to be like okay well tell me what you think yeah let's talk Let's you know? talk about it. How can we talk about it if we don't talk about it? Yes. And I, I love Captain America. <laughs> yeah. He's Captain America, not Captain Government. Right. Stars and Stripes, love it. I think it's a shame that if you see somebody with an American flag on their truck... You assume. Uh, many people assume that they are a fucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be that way. No. It's sad. Yeah. It's also sad in the... In if you've got a blue line through it or something, then it's like, oh, well, now you're defacing it, but not to them. But no, but it's also sad in the other direction. When you my brother that, voted for Trump twice. He does not like Trump. He did it as a protest vote. 
He's a Californian, so it doesn't matter. But if you're in Ohio or Florida or Pennsylvania, like if you're in a swing, that's why I asked the question. Okay. Because in certain areas, you don't get the luxury of having a protest vote. That's the only reason I ask. I, I, I don't even agree with that. Okay. I mean, uh, no disrespect, but I just think, right. I just think, you know, I, I had people here doing that too, where they were voting like Green Party shit, and I was just like, why? I was like, just f- shut the fuck up. Right. I don't agree with it either. That's why I'm bringing it up, but there is a, there is a difference. You don't, in some places, it's like, come on, don't do that. Yeah. In California, they, I mean, California goes blue before the votes are, like, before the polls open. Yeah, yeah. So you can just do that. Sure. Yeah. We just are, in case we, we they are. ever make a list down the, you know. <laughs> so you can just do that. Yeah. But there are some places where it's like, oh, please don't, please don't do a smart ass vote. So that's the only reason I ask. Yeah, yeah. But dude, if you're a fucking listener and you got shit to say, I'm listening. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Because I don't hate the flag. I don't hate. And I hate cops. I hate the idea of cops, but individual policemen, I'll judge them on a policeman by policeman basis. I've had decent interactions with the police. Yeah. But the institution, you can suck my cock. <laughs> All of you guys. But I just yeah. I, I just appreciated him being like, listen, like, you know, I'm I'm not hearing things that are like super my way, but I'm still on board. Yeah. And like I'm like, yeah, as long as you're a reasonable person, like I, and it doesn't have to get like nasty the minute you're not yes. hearing what you want. I will talk about anything with anyone. Yes. I never block anybody over politics Mm-mm. on social media. Nope. It's, I want to see how you think. Yeah. If I, if especially I, the people that I really disagree if I, with. If I give a shit about you and I don't think you're faking it yes. or being lazy. If you will have a good faith argument, I will too. Yeah. Uh, and that's all like, like that's all I ask. Don't don't give me. I'm just asking questions. Don't give me right, straw right. man bullshit. Yeah. They, I'm just looking for more. I just need to talk to more experts. So before yeah, I get the exp- vaccine. And then, oh, then you say, oh, experts are experts and experts are always wrong. Like, yo, let's hit, let's have this conversation. Let's steal man each other's argument mm-hmm. and go from there. If right. you can't steal man my argument, it's over. Because you haven't done the critical thinking. You haven't even put yourself in my shoes. No. And... We're all guilty of it sometimes, but like the idea is put yourself in the yeah. in, in your debate and just having like, like a, a, a queued up fucking like you know a uh, soundbite yeah to yeah. whip at somebody yeah is you not are, arguing in it's good not faith at all you are not you're uh, trying to get clicks you're not talking to your friend as a, a villager mm-hmm. right you're looking at them as the other yeah which is ironically the product of being grown up. Or evolved in villages. Sure. It's a, it's a, uh, I don't know if it's a catch 22 or. I, I, I would say not. But it's one of those things we where talk- be, because we evolved in villages, we evolved to fear the other. And so now when they're, the, the idea that we should have is that let's all make one village. Right. But it's hard with these mo- among monkey brains. But I think that the thing about the village too was that the other, if they were, uh, isolated would be brought in on a villager by villager basis about like, this is my experience with that person. But and it's then, very, that's few and far between. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's, that's like the comfort they kind of need. Oh, he, the, the, well, what you need is, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, the, 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 ra- I, I, the racist I, I, I trope I of he's I, one of the good ones. That thing. Oh, oh no, he's one of the good ones. Which means I've met him. That's all I mean. That's and, all it means. So he's one of the good ones. Is the way to racial and cultural harmony? Because <laughs> right. guess what? But that's not—that's ha- might... not how it's used. N- of course, to- I, you're totally right. It's never used that way, but they're turning the key the wrong way. <sighs> turn the key the other way, right? Because if, if you turn the key the other way, is go. Oh, maybe they're all one of the good ones, <laughs> right? Maybe everybody just wants to have a family. And and put food on their table, right? And keep the people they love safe. You understand? It's never used that way. It's always right, but that's the issue. Right, that's because we have this man. We have monkey brains, dude. 
Which, I know, you think we grew up eating or whatever <laughs> in your last profile, but we have primitive, we have, what is it? I think the quote is, we have um, paleolithic uh, brains, uh, human egos, and the technology of gods. Yes. That's what my penis is? That's really, no, no, that's no. really good. It's one. I, I'm 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 fucking up the quote a little bit, but it's one of those things. The great like lament, the great tragedies that we have: it paleolithic a, brains, oh yeah, human egos, and the technology of gods. Yes, and the, we this, and we can't reconcile those three things because yeah. Jesus the, the science. Oh, I can. I can. I'll just roll. Science has failed. He just lies. Time I'll call kills. it from now. On. No, but that, yeah, the, the 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 need for tools. To dom- the, yeah, dominate the, and survive accelerated so and much. And without the spirit to use them correctly. Without the morality. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll look at I it think up. about that a lot. Yeah. It's it's really fucked up, but also, hey man, I'm here for the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, boys, that was that was the story of the Nazi Titanic. Oh, I mean strange. I just I, don't want to uh, gloss over this fact here that you brought up is that they made a Titanic movie. The Nazis. Mm-hmm. And then when it was over, they put Jews on it. Three times as many people died in the Titanic. And then yeah. let oh, they let the English or they bombed it themselves. One way or the other. <laughs> right. They yeah. put three they, times they, they, as many. Well, they made sure that, that it sunk. Yeah. Whatever, they, uh, whatever happened. They painted a target on the starboard bow. It's, it's it, you know, it's it's not really something you can blame the English on when you go. Uh, hey, look at these fucking look at these Nazis. Shit. Yeah, as a passenger liner, you know. And, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> put the people there. And this is the heyday, too, of, you know. Uh, it's the May Day. If there's, if there's anything that is, uh, you know, military when it's air raids, make it look like it's. Not mm-hmm. right, yeah. I mean, the whole you know, all, yeah. the, all the cardboard tanks out there and all that. Shit. When my dad was in the that ho- was pretty good stuff. When my dad was in the hospital in Britain, he was he was talking about like with the meningitis, with the meningitis, he was talking about like it was like made to look like a fucking atrium, yeah, yeah, so it wouldn't look like a hospital, so it wouldn't right. be bombed, right? Right, and like, these days, I mean, the, fucking nuts, and we don't even have to go to the but the, these days we make so many bombs that you don't have to think twice. About bombing an atrium anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, Now yeah. you can just bomb all the atriums you want. Yeah. It's just an atrium. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Atrium barely... Go on. Hate... Okay. New... No, ba- ba- uh, barely... Uh, Psalm? Oh. Psalm? Doug Psalm? <sighs> Battle of the Psalm, but that's World War One. But I was, you know, I... It's a bizarre it's a, little corner of history. It's a, you know what? The, if yeah, there's the, anything that speaks to uh, the Nazis' obsession with films and efficiency, it's making a movie about the Titanic and then blowing up prisoners of it, on it while yeah, not yeah. showing it in Germany. Yeah, because you're yeah. worried about the metaphor. Yeah, well, me. yeah, it, you it, guys it, aren't it's, ready it's, for this, but it's, it's, the it's, occupied territories are gonna love it. It says that we we are so desperate to not be who we are. That we will <laughs> to not pretend, see ourselves to pre- pretend we have as we are some higher cultural power. Like and, oh my god! And, like and what the fuck? at the end of the day, well, if you can't even show your citizens this, then clearly what you're doing artistically, it's kind of like not, how George Clooney does. Society. You know how like you know celebrities, yeah. American celebrities will go do like a. Uh, like Nescafe ads in Japan and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like that. No, but like those, Brad Pitt, no, no, Brad Pitt no, is not going to do a no, fucking those, tequila ad it's here. Di- it's, but it's different. But it's kind of like it. This movie was made like to be it. shown in Germany, and no, after it wasn't. No, yeah, yes, it, it was. was. And after it was finished, they said, "Oh no, we can't let them see this." But it was also because of, at what point it was in the war. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> because also that part. Every single part of this myth of themselves slowly deteriorated right. as they got further yeah. along. Yeah, and the thing is, is that you know the people that enjoyed so it's it, kind of like the it. people <laughs> that enjoyed it in Prague or <laughs> or Paris or whatever, they were probably just going like, "Well, this is just a good Titanic movie. Exactly. I don't give a fuck about Germany." Exactly. Right. They were just going like, "Oh, well, they put him in this there is entertaining. so that they look good." Right. There's no fucking German officers on board of the Titanic. No. Right. <laughs> 
Do you come on a fucking U-boat? What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Do you guy, think that he even... He comes out of a U-boat and goes, I'm the first officer. Do you think that, know, that, that, that even in releasing it in the occupied territories would have been detrimental to their cause anyways because these are people that they've occupied? They weren't dealing with, uh, I guess, the attack at the heart that Germany was. And that's why... Because they already knew? Because it was... You, you want to subtly liberate France. Yeah, or, or, yeah, or, or, yeah, or, or, or yeah. you know, uh, fucking Czechoslovakia or whatever. But Germany, you can hit them hard all day. With propaganda, you mean? No, no, no. With actual bombs. Yeah. So he didn't release it in Germany because he was just like... With everybody fucking... They're already terrified of the consequences of being yeah, like themselves. A, a panic... And run for your life movie, not going to be very feel good to right. escape to when you're escaping. But on a deeper right, level, right. I think the question is, does that story with that metaphor of the Titanic as this unsinkable uh, empire, which does get sunk, mm -hmm. does it play better in the occupied territories because it somehow like subconsciously satisfies the need of the occupied. Yeah. Going, hey, hey look. Hey, I mean, per perhaps. See, one day this thing will be over. Like, I don't know if that's a, a, a con this is kind of a deeper question, but like, you know, um, uh, does Star Wars play well in occupied Afghanistan over the past 45 years? Well, honestly, I think we should watch look, it because. I think we should too. What I, I think probably really happens is that the real crucible in the filmmaking is that when it's just like, hey, shit's going down, and what are we going to do when everything sucks? Right. And you got to save as many people as you can, and it becomes this thing of like, we're all going to die. How do we want to? Right. That's where the real drama is, right? Everything else, the fluff at the end and the beginning, the 1500, the German, like, you can just be like, okay. But like, what, we, what do we know about the Titanic? We're like... A couple of people got away. Mostly everybody died. Well, it, so you know we, that that's coming the whole and time. And it was cold and dark. Right. And but, but as you as you say, I think I mean I think that's pretty prescient. The we're going to die. What do we do? Yeah. And when you can't put that movie out in a war, especially when you're losing mm -hmm. in 1943 in Germany. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it should be. It should be Scarlet Letter. It should be some type of of hero emerging out of death. Oh, if anything, I, I bet a couple of months later, Goebbels was like, I should have put out that thing about going down with the ship. Right. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Right? Yes. Don't you think? It, it should have been the captain. Should have been the thing of like, or you know, who's fucking throwing the kid on the lifeboat? Yeah. Except this German officer. But they, you don't want to admit. Yeah. You don't. You. It's we can't. Right. We can't tell them that we believe this. But here's the thing: is, the, but in the, the mythological uh, sense, you do. Well, no, of, of, for propaganda, of, of, you don't. Of course. But if I mean, it was I mean, really, cult truly... I mean, if culturally, you, over, over the span of history, it is always the better move, it seems that's like. What, that's what I'm, 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 we're making the same no, point. No, that's what I'm saying. Mythologically, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm and what, what better propaganda is myth? Right. So if he was really died in the war no, with but, this but Nazi it, it, shit... It wasn't it only his decision. This, I'm know, talking about this, Goebbels. That's what I mean. Oh, I would say it was entirely his decision. But you, I mean, you don't think there was someone? He was really, out, dude. He was way fucking up there, man. Like, whether well, course, whether or not he okay. was, sure, we're sure. armchair last Nazi guy, quarterback. Last guy in the bunker, Tell and me he up. killed all his kids and his wife. So he really did believe, sure, bro. No, he had like I, eleven kids, no, and they all like chomped totally, on cyanide. I totally believe that, but he probably talked they, to uh, people about yeah. it. Yeah, and they said that he was yeah actually, while actually, he was doing it. They said he was actually like somehow more anti-Semitic than Hitler. Like he he when once he like drank the Kool Aid, he well Hitler had Jewish he, friends. He drank hard, and who knows? If, I mean, yeah. So I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. This is all something. Okay, well, but if, that but what you said is 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 really good. Uh. Because there is no better propaganda than myth, because myth is truer to human nature. Sure, sure. And may fuck, take note, future dictators, uh, uh, incorporate some of that human nature into the myth, and maybe you'd have more people fight to the last man. 
Yeah. You know, like well, a lot of them, a lot of a lot of the Germans did. And a lot didn't. A lot of them, you know, there's a few people I'd like to roll on. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, but I mean... Yeah. Are you guys going to the moon? My name is Werner. I'd like to help out. Yeah. But there was some guys, like, where they were like... Of course. They, they held out the white flag and they were like, yo, you guys have the high ground, but like, there's like thousands of us. Of so course. like, we're coming. And there's always going to be and those people. And they were people. like... But the movie might have worked better. I mean, you both made some really... Really good points that I just really liked. I just want to say that. <laughs> Thank is you. Is that man. okay that I say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Is it okay is that, that I right? tell you I'm is impressed that, with the mythological right? analysis? Yeah. Well, I think there is maybe nothing more mythological and real that everybody talks about that is like, I, I don't even know how to properly like extract the meaning from it other than grace which is the band playing on yes yes right, right. so that's like the thing and james cameron kudos to you buddy but that's just something that like everybody was and just I think talking that about actually like, happened like too. like watching oh yeah yeah and just like keeping and like everybody just running and then just being like, all right, you want to do another one? Yeah. <laughs> like and everybody just being this like, this is a blues and, riff and, 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 yeah, and yeah, yeah, try yeah. to keep up and, and watch was, me for the eyes. And it was to yeah. chill you out. Yeah. Well, it was also. I mean, it was also to chill them out too. Yeah. They were on heroin. But I mean, but like, I mean, is there any greater service to the no, human no, spirit? No, no. I mean, of all of the things on that ship that happened. You it's know, the there, one. There, there, there are people who help people to light bolt, li- the, lifeboats. Yeah. But, but that act itself. That act of. How many as, more people in lifeboats did the band help out? Right? Like the band. Sure. You know. I mean, they. Imagine being in the lifeboat and hearing the band still play on board that sinking fucking well, shit. Going, That's way yeah, better well, than if hearing still everything there. else, right? You're, yeah. It, as opposed to, you know, yeah. the boat breaking or the screaming or you just. Right. There's. I never learned to juggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold when you're dead. <laughs> this is a really good one. This yeah, is a really like good one. Shit? I think there's it's also room yeah, for never... further elaboration on this. Yeah, we could we could Patreon it out and a little bit. We could if we wanted to. Uh, I'll I'll go into the the, the stars. You were kind of asking yeah, me to that, do that's that. That's very interesting. But you know, because uh, yeah, the know. the working actor through. You know the Third Reich, uh, and also like what you were saying too, the the metaphor about the un- unsinkable ship and the thousand year Reich is just so good. Yeah, it's, like, it's doomed to fail. Out. Yeah, like it's it just got started. It just started chugging. In the end, we all burn. Yeah, you but know, like, but the time, minute, time the, minute kills. the minute you call yourself a thousand year Reich or an unsinkable ship is uh, pal, get ready. Tick tock. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for time. Should we fuck off, fellas? We should. We'll this was that. really great. I'm glad you elaborated. And also, uh, very apropos of what you said about requesting elaboration, because that was about the ship of Theseus. That's right. And this was the ship of the Titanic. Right. Yeah. And there, you do your own connecting of the dots there, folks. Well, it, it is a thing where it, it was a disaster, and now we've seen... Is uh, it the same ship? Who knows? Right, or or right, the right, same right. story of the same ship. Right. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And all we know is it's a tragedy that it's we... It's a conditional Titanic. But it's a tragedy we heard about that we didn't, like... Especially back then. Mm-hmm. And you go like, oh my God, there was this fucking calamity on, like... And they were... It was for rich people. <laughs> You know what I mean? Ain't it's, they grand. it's a thing that we get so, we clutch our pearls so much more Ugh. when we're like, oh, the, the World Trade Center, but there's businessmen there. <laughs> right. But there right. are also janitors. No, of course, yes. And, but, and, and but, that's the real tragedy. But we really, yeah, we really. The real are. tragedy is that there were normal people there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not fucking apologize for that. Good. We can clap all we want for the fucking doctors and nurses and hospitals during COVID, but what about the fucking janitors and housekeepers at sure, hospitals? Because they outnumber all those professionals like three to one. Right. And they're not getting paid shit. The janitors don't, but. Okay, we'll add the other people. 
Well, they're all hiding in their closets and jerking the off. Main, the yeah. maintenance people? Yes, well, absolutely. The park, like, absolutely. dude, there's a lot of Med- middle to low, what we call Let- working class people in hospitals yes. that outnumber doctors, yes, and they sure. are just as exposed to all that fucking bullshit, and they're not getting rounds of applause, and I'm sorry that I'm not. <laughs> Agreed. Very good. Who's the real hero here? You. Thank you. With all the hot takes. That's exactly right. (laughs) Answer I was looking for. You like that shit? More of that. (laughs) Did you have some Kentucky gentlemen tonight? Well, I had a little bit of the MK Ultra, courtesy of Sidney Gottlieb. (laughs) The dose daddy. He dosed me, man. He dosed me, man. All right, let's fuck off, fellas. This is really nice. I'm glad you elaborated on the ship of Theseus. Yeah, it was came to me uh, late in the game, but I was like, Aaron said that, and I was like, I should do a deeper. You're my on. white vision. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say good night. My I'm, name, my name is John Fahey. My name is Aaron Pita. Never so. Good night, everybody. We love you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah.